Red Hot Comic Book Movie News. Defenders of the Earth. Defenders. The Weekly Planet. The Weekly Planet. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday. With me, as always, is co-host Nick Maysman. And welcome to new listeners. Yeah, you're Did you say welcome back? To another episode. Did I? I, just thought, what I normally say? You normally say that, and I'm like, I don't want to. I don't want to interrupt your groove there. But I mean, obviously, some listeners are new listeners. Mm. One would hope, and some listeners are leaving. Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> let us know if you're leaving or a new listener. Don't let the podcast door hit you in the podcast bum on the mm. way out. Podcast bum? Yeah. So if you listen to a podcast, you have a podcast bum. Yeah, it's a radiation thing. That is that forever. Yeah. So, like, if you get, like, radiation poisoning and, like, Chernobyl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's similar to that. Very much so, Where it yes. will eventually get you and you'll start a podcast. That's right. If you listen to a podcast. Correct, absolutely right. Oh, my right. God, that's mm. terrible news. It's bad, isn't it? Yeah. No, Mason, I, love, I love podcasting. That's the thing. Though. I also love podcasting. Mm. I love the sport of it. This is like a sport. I love the smell of it. Mm. <laughs> it depends on the room. It depends yeah, who you do it with. Mm, yeah. That's what I've found. That is very true, isn't it? Uh, Mason, big news this week. Oh, big news. We're going to be talking a bit more about the writer strike and what's been affected by mm. that. Uh, trailers, uh, two epic trailers. Oh, my God, epic trailers. Epic in their own ways. We've got the Meg 2, The Trench, mm-hmm. and we've got Oppenheimer. Two epic semi-real-world events that happened. I'd say they're both pretty epic bacon, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, is that what you think? Both the the, the revelation of more the Megs yeah. to, to wreak havoc across the oceans and also the creation of the atomic bomb. Those things are both epic bacon as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Mm. Uh, we're also going to talk about... What's another outdated term that people would use from that era? Like 2010. They're very elite, but I've spelt it with numbers. Oh, okay, of, right. Okay, words, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. We said bu- we were talking about bussin' before the show, but that's probably like <laughs> three to four years mm. old. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You said, I think we did a maybe a caravan of garbage or something recently, and you said the word riz. Yeah. You said somebody has a riz. <laughs> that's coming it. up, And yeah. I'm like, the instant you've... Like, it's already too late. <laughs> mm. The fact that we know about it, is yeah. that, that term is already... It got to us, it's over. Mm. Yeah. It's well over. Mm. And then it gets to Jimmy Fallon. That's right. <laughs> Then we're going to talk about Zack Snyder's thoughts on maybe why his uh, superhero trilogy didn't quite take flight with mm. the general public. It's got oh, some yeah, it was a trilogy. Yeah, well. I only just realised. In the end it was. Mm. Uh, we're going to talk some news on James Gunn's Superman legacy, plus some stuff that was cancelled. And then big news because Fast and Furious is coming out, Fast X, this mm. week. And we've got some uh, pretty interesting tidbits, which will be – there'll be some spoilers in that, but we'll yeah. let you know. Well, I was going to say, but um, in regards to that, yeah. uh, so if you were on the internet this week, if you are on Twitter seen this it. week, you, you probably have seen it. But if you don't want to know anything about the upcoming Fast X, I would say stay off the internet. Yep. But the thing that was revealed, it isn't a rumour as far as we know or like a – No, a, a scuttlebutt. Scuttlebutt, and it's not something that the – It wasn't released in a teaser or anything like that. Basically just a a news outlet saw Fast X early and just went, hey, here's a big spoiler from the movie. (laughs) And so uh, if you don't want to know about that, everything's time-coded in the podcast description. Yes, does it. But uh, I would skip that section probably like a couple of minutes either side just in case of – where the ads Just a go bit of wiggle room. A bit of wiggle room. Oh, yeah, exactly, know? the ads, of course. And then we're going to talk about, because Fast X is such a, well, it's 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 the 11th, 12th, because there's, there's a spinoff movie mm. in the in the, fa- in the Fast franchise. Yeah. Ten, no, ten, 11th, because it's Fast X, it's 10, right? That's the point of it? Yes. That's yeah, right. anyway, we're going to talk about long fran- franchises that have been around that's forever. Right. And what's the mm. longest? Great question. We don't know. Do you want me to, you want me to answer now? Or? Yeah. We'll Have you arranged them in in, in nah. length? Okay, nah. great. Do you think a fun activity for the listeners might be to do that? Someone can do it. At, at home? Yeah. Yeah, great. <laughs> yeah. If you've or got, wherever they are. Yeah, you don't have to do it at home. Here we go, Mason. Now, normally uh, when we talk about things that are delays, we say delays but not dismays mm. because, you know, it's okay to have a delay. It means that maybe some, often they're, they're taking the time to get it right. It means they've – Moved the release date because they don't want Shazam 2 to go up against Avatar 2. That's you know right. What I mean? That's and, in, 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 and sometimes that is true and sometimes it wouldn't matter even if it was or wasn't or was released three or four months later or because Avatar is just going to crush you. Yeah. Sorry, Shazam 2. <laughs> but, but you did it to yourself. You made Shazam 2, so. <laughs> ah, but well, let's, when it's writer's strike related, maybe mm. we call it something like delays but good, you know? But I love that. good. Mm. Good. I like love that. that. It's yeah. got a... It's got a certain something, doesn't it? I, I could, we could write something pithy, but we're also on strike. So. Yeah, that's right, exactly. Right, fun. 
Uh, but Fun you know, title for that. Who has written something pithy. Go, go on. So uh, Warner Brothers Discovery have mm. come out with a statement saying that if you're a WGA member, HBO okay. slash HBO Max respects your membership in the WGA and will not do anything to place. We talked in depth about this last week about mm. the writer strike and why it's happening and all of that. Basically, they want livable wages. Mm. Um, you can. There's more to it than that if you do want to listen to last week's episode or that section. Anyway, it's saying, we respect what you're doing. However, we believe certain services such as participating in the cast process and or contributing to non-writing production and post-production work are, are clear examples of non-WGA required services that should continue to be rendered during this time and then says if you fail to provide contracted services due to the strike hbo slash hbo max will not be obligated to continue your salary furthermore see that's like they're saying like if you're not if you're outside of writing then go to Mm, work right right. which is also not how a strike works like you you, the idea of a strike is that you you don't go to work you choose not to go and you know we should all go on strike to work are you going on strike I mean, I have gone Let's go on tell Claire that we're going on strike. Oh, we should do it. <laughs> uh, Claire, we're going on strike. From what, yeah. she'll say. Okay. We don't, we, don't, we don't know. We're just wrapped up in the fervor, Claire. What are you going to do about it? I threw a brick through the studio window. Uh, further. Where'd you get that brick? <laughs> I chipped it off the side of the house. <laughs> Further, if production is interrupted by the strike, even if you offer to continue to work, HBO slash HBO Max will not be obligated to continue your salary, nor the salary of the cast and crew. So that's interesting. So Disney came up with something similar and said, we want specifically- You're all fired. Yeah, probably. Because we can do that. (laughs) We want specifically to reiterate to you as a showrunner or other writer-producer that you are not excused from performing your duties as a showrunner and or producer- on your series as a result of the WGA strike. So basically, if you're right, Disney is saying if you're a writer, mm. you actually have you can't strike. You have to go to work. Oh, interesting, right? <laughs> I think it's last week there was some suggestion that Tony Gilroy, the showrunner for mm. Andor, was not going to go. Not on going strike. to be. But now he's he's like, yeah. I'm definitely on strike, and I don't know why anyone had said, yeah, that I was not on strike. And he's been on strike since like it happened, like mm. early May or whatever. Well, that's so. Here's some of the shows that have been affected this week, but not all. So Tony Gilroy has ceased writing on Andor Season 2. Daredevil was interrupted by uh, members of the Teamster Local 817 who wouldn't cross picket lines. Yes, Teamsters. I know, right? And The Last of Us Part 2 has been delayed. And that's just some of the things that have happened. Wow. Now, my answer to this would be just pay people <laughs> money, f- f- like, in line with inflation. What are you, a terrorist, James? <laughs> I know. I mean, most people were really supportive, but some people were like, well, you know, I don't even like TV anymore. So if, like, I don't like... you're out of the equation. Yeah, I don't like fucking banks, but I don't go in and go, you shouldn't get paid because I don't like banking. You do that, though. (laughs) Yeah, I do, but I have (laughs) a lot of free time. (laughs) That's a bad example, and you only came up with that because you did that today. (laughs) So... (laughs) That's a fair point. Mm. Uh, Also a thing that I learned this week, the uh, the president of the SAG-AFTRA... Uh, Actors Guild is Fran Drescher. Did you know that? Is it from really? The, from the nanny. And how's the she, nanny herself? How's she going? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> also, so, yeah. this, did you know this? I knew this uh, some week. I learned this some weeks ago. You know, Mr. Sheffield, yeah. whatever his real name is, yeah. he's royalty. He found out he was royalty. Oh, but he recently found yeah. out. Yeah, how, yeah. How, how, like post the nanny. How close is he to like a King Ralph situation where great like question. how many people die and he's the king? I don't know. Maybe it's not even British royalty. Maybe it's like Hungarian royalty or oh, something. Boo. I mean, I guess you take it. But yeah, like, you do. that's right. I know British royalty, like they don't seem very happy. I saw uh, like a photo of King Charles mm-hmm. <laughs> recently. Oh, yeah. And he just... I don't know. I mean, it's 76 as well. Mm. Do you want to be doing fucking anything? Yeah. Let alone being a king? <laughs> I mean, he, he looked like, you know, if you're like, oh, man, I'm going to get, you know, I'm going to get that video game or whatever and it's going to change, whatever it is. Oh, I'm going to get that fast car and it's going to change my life. Yeah. And you get in the car and you're like, I'm the same. This, this didn't change my life. Yeah. That He had that look. Yeah. They put the, cre- they put the king hat on him <laughs> and he went, and he went, Oh. He's got a look of like, oh, I'm the same guy. I'm I the think. same on the inside. Yeah. I looked inside and it's I'm all sausage. the same. I'm still sausage on the inside. <laughs> I'm a big sausage man on the inside. I'm the same. God bless him. I'm proud mm. of him though. He worked hard to get there. Oh, speaking of um, speaking of uh, Warner Brothers Discovery and all that sort oh, yeah. of stuff and pe- them telling people what to do, yeah. I don't know if you checked out this Vanity Fair article. Oh. It's called All That Zaz and it's a profile <laughs> on David Zaslav. Mason. Yes. Is this a puff piece? Or is this just some independent journalism going on here? What are we Let talking me tell about? You this. It is a puff piece, <laughs> but 
I think it's got some funny reveals in it. Okay. But I think we'll prove to you that David Zaslav, the guy who was controlling all the output from Warner Brothers Discovery from, from here on, yeah. is just a regular guy like you and me. Like me and in you. In fact, uh, says Nancy Pelosi, he's a reflection of his audience. He's a regular guy. My understanding of her is mm-hmm. that she fucking sucks. That's my understanding. Because I know, like, technically she's supposed to be on the left, which is fucking ludicrous, by the way. She's just been fleecing fucking... Everybody for decades. James, you're in the weeds. You're in the weeds. I'm in the weeds of it. But what my point is when people are like, well, Nancy Pelosi should go to jail. Okay. Yep. Go oh, to- no. What am I going to do? Not Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> gives a shit. How are you going to feed your family, James, if Nancy Pelosi's <laughs> in the clink, breaking rocks in the hot sun? Anyway, uh, here's, a, here's an anecdote from Vanity Fair. In July 2019, the Zaslavs were on da- Geffen's yacht. I'm assuming it's David Geffen's yacht. Mm. Sailing around the Mediterranean with a crew that included Winfrey King and Lloyd and Laura Jacobs Blankfein. I don't know those. Are those okay. Guys. One night. Those they, are normal names. They're all normal. Winkflid Brin. What was that? Uh, Laura Jacobs Blankfein. Okay. <laughs> and Winfrey and King. I, I assume Oprah Winfrey and. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. One night they decided to screen the award-winning BBC comedy Fleabag, which was made by a production company that Discovery now owns, but which Zaslav hadn't gotten around to watching. A minute into the first episode, the group found itself in the midst of a hot and heavy sex scene. I remember. Pause. So I put my hand up, recalls Zaslav. I go, whoa. So they stop it, and I said, okay, here's the strategy. We either shut it off or we put it back on and everybody only looks forward. We don't look at each other until it's over. They opted for the latter. What the fuck? <laughs> So this guy is the guy who's looking at all the the art and entertainment being produced by yeah. by this uh, by this organization now, and he can be like, no, nope. no, thank you. Let's all just look forward. <laughs> They're not at each let's other. Let's just speed through it. <laughs> let's shut it. Let's shut it off. Or speed through looking forward and not looking at each other. It's so weird. They put Fleabag on though as well. Yeah, that's a weird – like yeah. Fleabag is a show you either watch by yourself with like a partner or something. Yeah. It's not a group no, it's watching not. activity. It's not like watching Captain America pick up Thor's hammer kind of shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. what are you looking for? Mm. The revelation that like her best friend killed herself through Fleabag's actions? Is that what you're – and then the that, audience – And then the audience is just getting like an end game. <laughs> Woo! I knew it. It was my theory. <laughs> On your left. <laughs> On your left. <laughs> Anyway. Anyway, what's Fleabag? That's the reveal in the first episode. That won't spoil the series mm. if you have not seen it. Yeah. And, uh, so anyway, any more normal stuff? It's all pretty normal. That's as normal as it gets. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> oh, my anyway, God. I just love, just love the idea of that. Just just the just a guy who's like, I don't like this. Yeah. I don't like this. I don't think anybody should. Guys, I think we need a strategy meeting. I mean, obviously, yeah. we could just wait one minute and this will be over yeah. or I could make a really big weird deal about it. <laughs> anyway, very normal. I agree. The normalest man we have. I, I, probably. They should, they should call him Norman Normalman. Oh, that's yeah. how normal he is. I agree. <laughs> Trailers of Hoy Basin. <laughs> oh, that's very apt because we're talking about the Meg 2, the trench. I mean, I knew this. It's free additional Megs. I was like this. Was, it's free more to Meg. It's three more than we've seen. Mm. Um. I, I mean, this, this was time. This free more to me. <laughs> it's August. It's coming, and I just thought it's August. I'm, they made this. This isn't normal to Meg season. <laughs> August. They're coming in out of season. <laughs> free more to Megs from out of the trench. What is the deal? What is the deal? Um, it was Seinfeld. In this. Yeah. <laughs> it's too many sharks. Um. I'm, I just I was really surprised that this is ma- like I knew it was coming out this year, mm. but they they made it like it's here. Like you it's know, thrilling, thrilling, isn't it? I like that they're just leaning into just, this is just the stupidest thing you can make because I think the last one, mm-hmm. if there's like any fault in it, and there barely is, Mason, it's that it's kind of too serious, you right? Know? Uh-huh, you sure, don't need sure, to. Sure. I mean, as in like this, like I want more wacky scenarios. Mm. You know, there's a there's a moment in that first movie where like. A Meg eats another Meg. Right. They thought they got the Meg, but there's a second mm. Meg. Second, the bigger the Meg. And then at the end, it's just like Star Wars underwater and fucking submarines or whatever. And it's uh-huh. like whatever. Sure, sure, but sure. This looks more like Piranha. Yeah, it does, doesn't that. it? Yeah. 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 It made it to the beach. Mm. There's a bit where he puts his foot on the Meg's mouth. Mm. I'm assuming that's not him holding the Meg back. I don't know. And man. that's him holding him, pushing himself away. <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> no, man. Yeah. Mm. I like him. 
you won't get to this orphanage to Meg. I'm <laughs> holding you. I'm holding him back, but I don't know how long I can hold him back. The orphan- this is Jason Statham, yeah, by the I- way. It doesn't sound anything like Jason Statham. No, Stanton, I know. But I think he's got a, it's got a yeah. vibe to it. The orphanage is three miles inland, <laughs> but I think it could do it. I don't think it could do it, no, Jason. I think, it do it. <laughs> I think it's Jason. Please, Jason, get out of the water, Jason. Jason, I think there's more pressing concerns right now. <laughs> uh, so it looks like there is. Are there some cast returning? I don't remember who was in the first. Uh, Cliff mate. Curtis is. Oh yeah, love it. him. He's, he's in. Wasn't it. Ruby Rose in the first one? She yes, she was. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I recognise some of these faces. Let me tell you. Good yeah, stuff. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I don't yeah, remember yeah. who's in the first movie and who isn't. But um, <laughs> so they've also got some kind of underground, maybe like. Underwater, like Jurassic Park kind of mm. thing situation, or yeah. some kind of preserve of Megs that they're mm. keeping an eye on. Mm. So the and I like the way it we've opened. got the Meg preserve. <laughs> <laughs> they're turning them into preserves, <laughs> Jason. Jason, they're not turning. These characters have Jason. <laughs> they're not turn, they're not, they'll turn him into preserves. It's, a, it's to preserve their natural habitat, <gasps> like a gem. Um, so. He says at one point that, like, this is the biggest the Meg we've ever seen. Mm. But the Meg, the last of the Megs weren't that big, if you recall. They were pretty big, weren't they? Yeah, we're bigger than Jaws. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but nobody's impressed by Jaws anymore. No, well, that is true. But this, I like the bit at the start where you see, like, a dinosaur, it's mm-hmm. another dinosaur, whatever, then the Meg eats the big dinosaur, yeah, 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 and that's yeah. all good stuff. That's the, what, the same. State that meets the Meg. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same. He me- torpedoes out <laughs> of the water and he, oh. <laughs> that's the same Meg, I assume. Like oh. from the prehistoric one, because don't sharks technically like and like live for a really really long time, sixty five million years? I don't think I don't think that's true. No, I mean not that long, mm. but like they can live like sharks can live like an exceptionally long time, right? Might be thinking of lobsters. Yeah, you might be thinking of lobsters or crabs, possibly. How long can a shark? Whales can live a long time. Turtles can live a long time. Oh, 20 to 30 years. Okay, no, I was way off on this. <laughs> Collins, take all of this out. No, no, leave it say in. Say I say crabs or something else, <laughs> whatever the right thing is. How long does it the Meg live? That Meg's got to be 30 years old. <laughs> <laughs> it's ancient by Meg standards. No, nah, it's 80 to like 100 years. Wow. Oh, I'm an idiot. I feel bad about that. I think that. you're cool. No, no, that, I can be cool and an yeah, idiot. Cool idiot. Yeah, cool yeah, idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me finish. <laughs> yeah, so that's fun. Um, anyway, that's really exciting. Mm. Uh, just a really, re- if you haven't seen, is it Piranha 3D? It was the one with yeah. Christopher Lloyd and whatever. That's a that's a silly movie. Is that's Christopher in Lloyd the, in that? Yeah. He's like, there's too many piranhas. <laughs> yeah, there what are. What do you mean, old man? Anyway. <laughs> um. uh, should we talk about the other trailer, though? Yes. It's for Oppenheimer. Oh, yes. It's serious business. It's very serious business. They're making business. a big bomb, but they have to for the war. Mm. Like it's, they le- they're legally obligated to, right. to go to work and do this. There's no going mm. on strike. You have to make the bomb. Mm. But then maybe too much bomb. Maybe they could have made a smaller bomb, you know? Maybe, yeah. Something to think about. Mm, I think that's, that's that. probably going to be a conversation that's had in the movie. Have you gotten uh, early access to some... Some, uh, maybe the script there because it seems. I wrote the script. Sound like an author. No, that's yeah, you're me. just reading I, off your laptop. Uh, yeah, there. I yeah, wrote yeah, it. That's yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> hey Oppenheimer, I think maybe your bomb might be a bit big. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. we can't change it now. So yeah, yeah. yeah. What am I going to chip some plutonium? Off yeah, the we bomb? put all the put it in, in already. Put all the atoms in it or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I don't know. Put the screws that like try and unscrew that. Yeah, <laughs> you can't do it, mate. You can't do it. It's stuck in there tight, mate. <laughs> Bloody hell. Yeah. So um, I. The only thing I say would, that would take me out of this movie is that Matt Damon is in it. Right. And not because he's bad. Mm. I recently watched the movie Air, mm. where they're like, we're going to make this shoe for Michael right, Jordan right, right. or we're going to all die. Mm. Um, but in this, he's like, we're going to make this bomb. Otherwise, we're going to all die. For Michael die. Jordan. Michael Jordan's going <laughs> to drop the bomb. Um, but I just think, like, he's, he's too just, big a star. Yeah, he's too big a star. Mm. And maybe, you know, but I don't think it'll be, I don't, yeah. I don't think it'll be a problem because I like him as an actor, but. No, it looks really good. It looks like the exact kind of movie that my dad would like. Mm. And that's the kind of movie I'm, I get excited for, right, Mason. Because right. yeah, yeah. I owe him one for when I took him to The Mummy 2017. <laughs> that's a true story that happened. He didn't like it. Interesting. He wasn't the only one, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone liked it. <laughs> and also, why did you invite your dad to The Mummy 2017? I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I would have had like... A really young kid at the time, so that's probably oh, you just wanted to get it. probably probably brain half working tired, and wanted yeah. to get out of the house. Yeah, again, uh-huh. all my opinions from like 2015 to now are completely invalid. Yeah, right. Mm. So don't even worry about it. Mm. Now, Mason, the direct they've got news of uh, Zack Snyder at a full circle charity event, which is great. 
It's all mm. about the fans. He likes his charity. He likes showing his movies and being like, this means that and dark side is mm. whatever. He yeah. likes doing that and that's He likes cool. wearing a suit and tie and then he rolls his sleeves up. He's got a lot of tattoos. That's like, right. What do you think of that? Yeah. Bit of a bit of a contrast, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Didn't expect that when yeah. I rolled up the Show sleeves. Show of hands. Who thought that was a... Who thought that was a bit of a contrast? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. Yeah, you got it. Nice. <laughs> that's what I was going for. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so in this Q&A, he talked about why maybe the uh, his movies, as mentioned, uh, nice. his, his Justice League trilogy didn't fully take flight. We're talking Man of Steel. Mm. We're talking Batman v Superman. Oh, yes. We're talking his four-hour cut of Justice League, which mm. went for four hours. And he's, and he's getting a bit of flack for this, but look, I, I don't think it's that big a deal, uh-huh. really. Yeah. But he said, I think what probably caused the movie to be so polarizing, I think, and maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like a lot of people went into those movies going, oh, it's like a superhero romp, right? Let's have fun with it. And we gave them this sort of hardcore. That's the thing you say. That's what I say, Mason. Is he listening to me? No. Oh, good. And then we gave him uh, this We've sort of. got bro brain. <laughs> we That's might, Yeah. <laughs> Gave him this sort of gave him this sort of hardcore deconstructivist, heavy layered experimental modern mythology superhero movie that needs that that you really need to pay attention First to. First of all, no, you didn't. But carry on. <laughs> that was not cool for them. That's something. <laughs> that's not something anyone wanted to do. They were like, "What? No, that's exhausting. How about why do they fight at night? I hate that." <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I don't think. I mean, we've talked about these extensively. Oh yes. We don't love those movies, mm. but we I feel like we got We're it. in love with them. Yeah, we're in love with them. We don't I, love them. I admire, like, I just think they're, I'm glad they exist. Sure. I uh-huh. enjoy that aspect. Okay, aspect great. Right. Uh, Terrific. But, like, I get it, the themes and the whatever and the imagery mm. and the, the gods, because often there'll be a painting of gods and demons, and then they're like, huh? All right. Because, like, Superman yeah, and yeah, yeah, Batman, yeah. huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get it? Yeah, yeah. I, I get it. Right. <laughs> I get it. And then, like, sometimes Superman or Batman, they'll make the exact pose from the stained glass window yeah. behind him, and they'll be like, huh? Sometimes a yeah. finger will reach out, mm. and another finger will go to touch it. E.T. And that's like that movie E.T., exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah, It's beautiful. Just... <laughs> yeah, so there you go. That's fun. I mean, look, I'm sure there are some people who, yeah, that is true for. Like, they just want, you know, they want the Avengers of fucking, you know, mm. of Batman v Superman, where they go in and they go, is this for real? And whatever, whatever. <laughs> and we got that with yeah. Justice League 2017. So everybody wins. Everybody's yeah, happy. That's right. Everyone Everybody's happy. Everybody's want. got the perfect movie that they wanted. There were two camps. There was uh, Fun Romp. Fun Romp. Once Brunch. Yep. Fun Romp, Once Brunch. Yep. And then the other one. The other one that's four hours long and maybe black and white sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, you the version you get all your TV settings or what whatever. What steel book you bought. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Mason, uh, let's, speak, let's, let's stick to DC though. Okay. Let's stick it to DC. Here, Here we, we go. go. Here we bloody go. This is by a DC guy on Twitter. Oh. But there was an interview with is that James official? Gunn. Yes. Great. There was an uh, interview with James Gunn, and he seemingly confirmed crypto being in the movie. Yes. But it was also in kind of a joke discussion that he was having with Chris Pratt. So right, and by crypto, you mean? Crypto, the super dog. Not cryptocurrency. No. The Ooh. movie isn't going to be associated with cryptocurrency. I'd like that, though. Mm. Mm. That's a Dogecoin, let me tell you. Agreed. Because mm. they're both dogs. Yes. Yeah. But it seemed like I watched the – the video, uh-huh. and it's kind of like a. It could be seen as like a joke discussion with Chris Pratt. I love just that. Like messing about. Oh yeah, just boys, mm. you know, just boys, yeah. and that's fine. Uh, also, I think, I think it was probably this week that uh, James Gunn went on Twitter and he answered a bunch of yes or no questions from yes. followers. And one of them, I think, was, "Is there anybody from the Guardians movies who's going to be mm. in the new Superman Legacy that he's directing?" And he said, "Yes." yes. So who do you think it could be? I, well, he said it's not one of the main people okay, in yeah. the Superman movie. Right, right. So, I mean, there's, there's, I mean, probably Rooker. Yeah, I mean, the, the or simplest, his brother. Simplest, the the obvious uh, answers is Rooker, yeah. Sean Gunn, maybe Nathan Fillion mm. in some sort of back background roles. Yeah, that would that would make a lot of sense. What do you think, Nathan Fillion, Perry White? What do you think about Michael Rooker, Perry White? Ooh, I like both of those. Something to think about. Conjoined twins, Perry yeah. White. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like that. How about this? Yeah. Bill Poulter, Jimmy Olsen. Yeah, I like that a lot. Mm. Also, it's sound. The names work together. Yeah. Bill Poulter, Jimmy, Jimmy Olsen. Olsen. Yeah. Jimmy Olsen, Will Poulter. You need to, like, shrink back down again, though. That's true, yes. <laughs> or he could be bursting out of his Argyle vest. Oh, yeah. yeah yes. How tall is Will Poulter? No idea. Let's check. Okay, let's check. Because you need Superman to be, like... 
He's six two. That's pretty fucking. Is big he really? Yeah, he doesn't that's... give off six two energy. No, no. Well, I think he does. All right, great, good. Uh, oh, that's too. Well, that's too tall for Jimmy Olsen. I think. I mean, you get a taller Superman. That's true. Even taller. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's fine. They also talk Kareem about Abdul Jabbar. Exactly. Mm. There was rumors this week about who's being cast and who's being looked at or whatever. And James Gunn also came out and said that I haven't like that's then it's not locked in. Like, yeah. it's, like I'm not going to reveal who's auditioning, auditioning and whatever mm. and whatever. So yeah, I don't expect anything. Mm concrete anytime soon but then yep. it's basically like if there's a tall guy with brown hair in hollywood yeah probably that, that they've probably gone up for this. that's true yes um but there was a wired interview i don't know if you saw this Ooh. where he mentioned superman legacy and it's going to start filming in january mm-hmm. now he also said he submitted his script or the first draft before the writer's strike that's true so i don't know whether like Maybe he's further along than we think. Maybe they expect it to be over by then so he can start. Yeah, huh. But that could very well be delayed. We'll have mm. to see, Mason. We'll have to absolutely see. So mm-hmm. hold your breath on that one. <laughs> Do you like uh, holding it? <gasps> so that's – did they say 20 – yeah, it's 2025, right? So, yeah, yes. that would make sense if they film in January mm. and then it comes – that feels soon, which is good. Exciting. Yeah. Who else could be in the on the t- on, in, in the team? Who's a good Lois Lane from that? Uh, what's her name? Mantis. She'd be yep. good Lois Lane. Or Zoe Saldana. Sure. Or – Karen Gillan? Yes. Or Michael Rooker. Or, or Michael Rooker. With, with Nathan Fillion. That's right. Conjoined twins. Nice. I love that. Yeah. Mm. Um, Lex Luthor. I think I saw one of the names was... Um, Michael Rooker. No, Mason. Oh. He's in The Great. He was the, oh, uh, he's the about Holt. a boy boy. Nicholas yeah. Holt. I think he'd be... A, and I also see him for Superman, but I think he'd be... I don't know. I think he'd be a better Lex Luthor than a, than a Superman, mm. I feel. Interesting. But yeah. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. 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 And plus, he was uh, he was beast. It was beast. It was beast in a bunch of uh, X Men movies. He was beast, and he was also a lot of the times just a guy, Nicholas Holt, with glasses. Yeah, on. the about a boy boy. Yeah, the about a boy boy. Mm. Yeah, exactly. So maybe he doesn't want to take, to take on a lead role, or maybe he's ready for a big lead role. Who knows? I mean, who wouldn't want to be Superman? If you got offered Superman, mm-hmm. you, yeah, me, would Great. you take it? You'd have to stand on a box. I'd have to get that leg Walter. surgery. I'd have to get that leg <laughs> but, surgery. Oh, did you see on Twitter? There's yes, a guy. Yes, I don't this want to week. think about it. Why know, did he do I it? I don't know. It's not worth it. Well, maybe no, it is, though. Maybe it is, though. I don't know. You've no, learned to walk again. So there's I don't no know. video of him, like, walking properly in it either. I understand people get it if, like, sometimes, you know, you can be born with one leg shorter than the other mm. or whatever. So, like, the, it, it's – but, like, mm. just – you can be 5'5". Five, five, it's fine. <laughs> Not if you want to be Superman, though. Well, that's true. Yeah, that's mm. different. That's, a that's different right. Situation. You need to add an extra foot. Yeah. So, <laughs> oof. That's a lot of leg. Yeah. You know? It is a lot of leg, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Anyways, Mason. Anyway, I would do it. Okay, good. I could. I, I'd also be Wolverine. Yeah, Wolverine, because that's like classic Wolverine height. Well, Wolverine's mm. more like five three, so he's actually shorter. Yeah. Than, but wouldn't work work out though. I just wear a stocky suit. I feel like the Vinnie Jones Juggernaut suit. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, I think you, Jackman. Although I have been sugar free for two days, so maybe I could. Yeah, exactly. You're going to probably be there by this time next week. <laughs> Look at you, sugar free. Look at you. That's what they call me. Thinking you're better than me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mason, this is uh, CW News. Oh, They're cancelling yeah. shit left and right. They're cancelling everything. Kung Fu and the Winchesters have been cancelled. Oh, no. I think Kung Fu is good. Never seen oh. it. Uh, the Winchesters is a supernatural prequel, which yes. might also be good or not. I don't mm, know. Mm. Um, Variety reporting that Superman and Lois plus Gotham Knights is also going to go. Oh, I, T- I, heard, I heard also one of them is going to go. Well, THR said, yeah, one of them will go. And of those two, well, I haven't seen Gotham Knights, but... There's a few clips of Superman and Lois floating around this week, and it's like, like, please don't fire us, please. that, and like, shit, that looks expensive. Yeah, no, it does, doesn't (laughs) it? It's by far the best looking of those shows, I think. And also, I I learned this, I don't, I saw this on Twitter, so I don't know if it's true or not, but uh, I read this week that apparently, even though the CW is owned by Warner Brothers, Mm. whenever they use a character from DC, they have to pay a fee to Warner Brothers, I think. Okay. And that depends on... Wait, but CW was owned by Warner Brothers. Correct. And they're, but they're know. paying a fee. They still have to pay. Guys. Whose budget does this come Some intercompany of? thing. I don't know how it works. But that would suggest that like... God. And I, I imagine Superman is not cheap. No. Mm. Yeah. And so the, one of the reasons I saw that people are saying, well, maybe Gotham Knights is going to survive is because it doesn't really have any... No, it's names. all like and the main yeah. guys are made up new guy. And that that explains I think we talked about it like Bruce when, Grain. Yeah, why is it Bruce Grain <laughs> and not, you know, Dick Grayson or, or Jason yeah. Todd or any of the other 
subs or Damian Wayne or any of the subsequent yeah. Robins as the son of the Batman. It's because you don't have to pay for that name. Yeah. Okay. So it's a you know that's weird, isn't it? That's right. Did you see also? Uh, oh, this is this is a bit of improv news, Mason. Sometimes we like to freewheel it. Oh, we're doing improv news. Improv this is about news. the improv industry. Here we go. I'm coming into a room, no. Mason. Let me right. just pretend to sit on this chair. It's more clowning. I feel. <sighs> I'm not very good at improv. <laughs> On the level with you. But anyway, this is. <laughs> you can just make this, this normal news or you want to commit to it? This is improv the, news. The only way you get better at it is if you practice, I think. So okay, I'm going to do some more improv, improv news. improv news. Okay, right. Hey, Mason, I'm a newspaper reporter. I got big news for you. Oh, you're just James. You're no, Mason. James. <laughs> Mason, yes, and. Oh, okay. Extra, what were you again? extra. Buy this newspaper. I'll tell you about the news in it, though. How much is the news? Um, How much is for the, the newspaper? newspaper? Yeah, yeah. 65 cents. 65 cents? <laughs> yeah. What era is this? <laughs> to the, uh, what era do you think it is? 65 cents. Like the seven? No? It's the, seven, the, the 80s? It's the 80s. <laughs> yep. And this news is from the 80s, then? No, um, this is news from the future. How'd you get it? I found it. Are you from the 80s, but you've traveled to now? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Yes, and. Okay, so you've, you're a newsboy from the 80s. Yep, and man. You're tra- you're newsman, and you've traveled from the 80s to now, yeah. and you've decided to maintain your sanity. Yes. You've decided to just keep your current your career as a newsboy man. Man, yeah, and sell newspapers. But they haven't. you haven't gotten a job. You've just found a piece of news, yeah. and you're selling it to me <laughs> for the price that it would have cost in the 80s. Yeah, I found just this one. All right, this I gotta and see. And with this sixty-five cents, I'm gonna, mm. I'm gonna probably go buy like a sandwich. Oh man, I got bad news <laughs> about the price of sandwiches, <laughs> even in the eighties. <laughs> anyway, here's sixty-five cents. <laughs> Thank you. So apparently, Hulu is going to be uh, in the US is going to be folded into Disney Plus. Okay, which is what it is in most other regions. Yeah, of the we world. we have a we have a sub. Channel called Star, which yeah. has most Hulu stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's but right. But it's always missing something you want. Yeah, that's you know true. What I mean, yeah. it's always like everybody's talking about this show on Hulu, and you're like, "Oh, I'll find it on Disney." It's not there. Nah, it's not exactly. there. You're gonna wait for it. Well, they'll release it like week to week or something, mm. as opposed to like it all in one batch. Mm. But apparently, there's some kind of thing where, like, I think it's Comcast. Who the fuck knows? One of the three companies, uh-huh. and they own like a third of Hulu. Right. So Disney or Comcast next year have to decide, like one of them has to buy it out oh. or something. I okay. can't remember. So look forward to one company swallowing another company, which yeah. is my favourite bit of news. It's whichever one you don't, you are not currently subscribed to, that's the one that's going to buy it. Yeah. And then you won't have it. Yeah. So that's cool. Can I have that newspaper back? You're going to sell it again. <laughs> yeah. All right, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get two sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I got I got such bad news for you. Wow. So there you go. I bet, I bet as a as a um as news, a, a news boy man from the from the past, I bet you're still glad that Fred Bassett is still in the. I certainly the am, Mason. Thank yeah. goodness. Mm. Yeah. Uh, also, THR said that the remainder of, of the schedule uh, is apparently going to for CW because they're just gutting that whole thing. Mm. It's going to consist of unscripted series and low cost imports. Yes, <laughs> that's the good. future of entertainment. Drek, I love Drek. <laughs> no, but I mean, maybe we're out of touch. They're, also, I saw this on Twitter this week. Well, the, the, when they talk about like this is the biggest show, I'm like, I've never heard of this. Yeah, yeah, the one. What's Vanderpump Rules? What the fuck is the, that? The Good Surgeon or whatever it's called. Yeah, the, 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 that you, one, the, the one you've mentioned that's about the he's got all. I have mentioned that before, right? Yeah, I like think on so. this show, like, I think so. I didn't know it was still going. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Just a just a show where they're like, this guy's got autism, but it's a superpower, and also he freaks out all the time <laughs> or whatever. That show apparently, and like that, and because you know, because on Twitter. Everybody's like, oh, Succession, the best yeah. show ever made or whatever. And that has about 2 million viewers yeah, or something. Exactly. Whereas these shows have 20, 30 yep. million viewers. Because people who watch that, they don't spend their time online like us. Yeah. They're not online freaks. That's true. So that's how, that's what's going they're, on. They're there. real life freaks. They're real life freaks mm. watching The Good Surgeon. Yeah. What's hilarious about that show is, first of all, that it's still going. And this, like, this guy who's supposed to be autistic He's a fucking robot. They've written a robot yeah. into this show. I mean, it would make more sense if it was called Robot Doctor. Yeah, yeah. And right. he was a literal robot. Mm. In the 80s, he would have been Robot Doctor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's where I'm from. Are you still that guy? Yeah, yeah. All right. That'll be 65 cents, thanks. Oh, man. <laughs> Wild. Mm. Anyway, Mason, we're going to do our Fast X news. Uh, yeah, We're not okay. going to do the spoiler thing. 
I'll tell you when it's going to happen. Okay, right. So people know. But I would say if, you, if you're if super concerned about avoiding spoilers. Yeah. I wish that I hadn't known the thing Me going too. in. That would have been a, Ordinarily, like, I'm like, yeah, you know, you, you learn some stuff or there's a reveal or whatever. And I it's was like, going to see it anyway. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and it's so close to the, yeah. the release of the movie as well. But yeah, ordinarily with this sort of stuff, I'm like, yeah, of course, whatever. But this, this particular thing, I'm yeah. like, that's big. Come on, Jack. Come I on. Said. Come on to the rap. Yeah. Well, anyway, we'll get to that in a okay, minute. Right. But Vin Diesel confirmed in an interview that Fast X is not going to be Fast X Part 1, Part 2. Mm. It's going to be Fast part X part, deux. part 1, Part 2, Part 3. Ooh! Ooh is right, Mason. That's right. So do you think he was supposed to say that? The ooh bit. I mean that, but also the it, yeah. So it I felt watched like the kind inter- of a, no, it did, but it felt like a kind of an off the cuff reveal. Like I don't, I, I don't believe know, is somebody, any of this... some, some executive calling you up and being like, "Vin, you should uh... nothing's off the cuff, man." I just don't <laughs> think. Yeah, right, right. He's too much you don't even a... think that the reveal we're going to talk about later, the big spoiler. You don't even think that's necessarily. A... I don't you think, think it's that's a, a deliberate. thing. I think it's a deliberate leak. Mm, Not even a leak. It's just right. like, can you say this thing? So anyway, what do you think about that? Fast X being a trilogy. There, there are a number of like opinions came back and people mm. are like, it's the worst one ever and I loved it. I don't know. <laughs> I, can't, yeah. I can't tell. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah, know. Yeah. No, look. We'll talk about it next week. Yeah. I mean, I think they're, they're, as far as I know, they're, you know, they're doing well financially. Why they're would... on the, a little bit oh, on the They're on the, on the decline, down. Okay, yeah. right. Well, I mean, in that case, I guess it's just make hay while the sun shines and just make as many until the... Until yep. the money runs out, right? Exactly. The, the, the profits So there. they can integrate the Netflix series into the live action series. Exactly, that's right. A beautiful hybrid. Mm. Yeah. And, you know, and, and my guess would also be they are probably test the, – the you know, three movies gives them a chance to test out different pairings of characters, new characters. That'd be nice. Anybody, you know, can we do a flash forward and see their kids and maybe yeah. their kids, are, you know, in hover – Hondas. Hover Hondas. Hover Hondas. That's right. That's great. Anyway, huge spoilers. Here it comes. Fast X. Big spoilers. By the rap. The rap saw it, this movie. They they saw it a little advance. They're like, here's a review. We liked it or whatever. I don't know. I don't actually know their opinion on the movie. No. But they're like, here's a big reveal. James, you want to do a big reveal? Uh, The Rock is returning to the franchise Mm. in his role as Hobbs or Shaw. That's right. (laughs) Hobbs? Hobbs. Luke Hobbs. Luke Hobbs. Mm. Yeah, so apparently it's in a post. He has to call himself Lukebs now. <laughs> All the characters refer himself to it, refer to him as Lukebs. Yeah. It's a little punishment for him. So I think it's a post credits, I believe. Mm. Which also was like that's a bad thing to reveal in a post. Remember? Okay, we talked about this before the show, but remember when they were like, "Get ready for Superman to show up in Black Adam mm. in a post credits," and they tried to sell the movie on that, and people would be like, "Or I can wait." Five minutes, yeah. and somebody will watch it and put it recorded on on their phone and put it on YouTube. Exactly, and you don't have to. Yeah, and then it, it'll it'll spread like pee in a pool. You can't get it off the internet, and you'll be able to see it. But you can't do that with if no. if, if the Rock were to show up at the, at the second act mark. Oh no, everything's all the cars of we can't start the. They're cars. filled with tarantulas. They're all filled with tarantulas. If and we're all we're all afraid of tarantulas. If only Hobbs were here, because he canonically is not afraid of tarantulas. Well, I'm here. And I'm canonically not afraid of tarantulas. That's right, exactly. <laughs> Thank That's you fine. for remembering. And I've got this broom. <laughs> I've got the bigger, world's biggest broom. No one else could lift it. I don't think the studio would be – because the studios have relationships with these big sites, mm. like Variety, The Rap, THR. Mm. Like not like Weekly us. Weekly Planet Podcast. Obviously. I was going to say not like us, but just like us. Mm. They come to us and they say, here's some news. Yeah. Get this out in the world. Mm. So I don't think – <laughs> David Zaslav's normal. Let yeah. everybody know how normal he is. The, the rap – I don't know, man. This seems pretty – this seems too normal. <laughs> the rap is not allowed, I would say – to break this mm. if it hadn't already been broken by somebody else. Right. So I think that them being the first says to me that they went to them and said, can you put this out there that, mm. that um that, what's his name's returning in the whatever. Sounds like a tinfoil hat territory, am I right, everybody? Yeah, maybe. Listeners? I also, it gets me thinking, and I, I think this is way less chance of it being true. Right, this is dangerous. If this, yeah. if this gets us, either of us thinking, honestly, this is a dangerous territory. That, like, was this entire thing contrived from the get-go? Because uh, for people who have not been caught up on all this drama, yeah. Vin Diesel, was it Vin Diesel who said there was somebody on set yeah. who was very unprofessional? Very unprofessional. It, was, it wasn't The Rock saying it. It was Vin Diesel was like... No, I think The Rock somebody- said it about... Vin Diesel, Vin Diesel he? saying, there's I can't some, remember, but... one of them said that there was yeah. somebody on set who was very unprofessional during the production of one of the Fast movies. Yeah, and then it was revealed that 
Vin and, and The Rock do not get along, uh, and then uh, then they, they had a big bust up, and of course, uh, The Rock went and did Hobbs and Shaw and Blood. And The Rock was like, I hate your family. Vin yeah, there was, and there was a moment where Vin was like, Hey, uh, don't your kids call me Uncle Vin and all that sort of stuff? And, it's your destiny to come back to and the I, Fast and, and, I, and Furious and saga. When that happened, I remember thinking, Well, you can't bring. Like that feels very personal. Yeah. To be like, it's all well and good to do the wrestling back and forth of like, you don't have the guts to do yeah. whatever, but to be like, your kids suck. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't say that, but it like, no. it's, it seems weird to bring it that personal level in and be like, I think your kids would like you to come back in. <laughs> don't tell me what my kids would like me to get out of here. Yeah. It, kind of thing. It felt like a real. So, I mean, if and then was, there was the Tyrese thing mm. where The Rock. Reviewed Tyrese's album. This is in our latest category. Oh, and, did, and didn't and Tyrese like, say something like, uh, why, why do you get a spin off or whatever? Or yeah, something and like you're ruining the franchise and whatever, mm. whatever. But yeah. Oh, that reminds me. I think I should have put this. I think that's there. less likely that that's yeah, a yeah. fucking. Yeah. That reminds me. I should have put this at the start of the show, but I was on an episode of Tofop this week. With oh, my Wilson, God. And we talked about the rise and fall of The Rock. And by that, I mean his rise and rise and rise and then a little bit of a dip in his, in his career. <laughs> and he'll probably be okay. Yeah, yeah, he'll be absolutely fine. But yeah. people can check that out. I completely agree. You should check that out. What yeah. a great show, Mason. Thank you. So, yeah, the other thing is, like, if it's a post credits, it says to me that maybe this was – because I know this is the Superman thing was filmed, like, two weeks before – Black yeah, Adam right, came uh-huh. out. Yeah, like, yeah. is this just a thing they've tacked on recently? Mm. They reached some kind of contractual agreement right, and sure. whatever. Yeah, just, it, maybe it's just been lawyers have been hashing this out for six months. Yeah, yeah possible. Mm. And is this also The Rock going back to the well? Because. Like, uh, Black Adam's fallen off. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. that was supposed to, he was supposed to take over the DC universe. That's true, yeah. Remember that recent coup he attempted? Yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> Yeah. Um, he hasn't got any other kind You're of put in the stocks. Yeah, They're throwing rotten fruit at him. <laughs> he hasn't got any other big franchises on the go at the moment, except maybe Jumanji. But that's not really doing mm. any, doing anything at the moment. That's my right. understanding. The, the new, a new Jumanji would do well, like if he, Jungle Cruise. Jungle Cruise. Exactly. Mm. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it makes sense that the franchise, which made him like a billion dollar yeah, yeah, action yeah. star, and he also helped, by the way, like. Because five, like we've watched it recently, yeah. he's really good in five. He really adds something to those yeah, movies. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't shock me if that, but like the, his lawyers went in and went, "Listen, he made, you yeah. know, he was in five. They could say, yeah, this dude was in five. Was in five. That was a good one. Not the boy band. <laughs> We're not, why would you? Why'd you bring that up? No, he's I not mean, abs. Fast and Furious Five. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Dang it. So, but I would have honestly, as far as post credits go, mm. if I had have seen this reveal, yep. I would have. My jaw would hit the floor. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Because <laughs> I've been tricked by PR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yet again. But again, if you're not interested in the, at this point, if you're not interested in the Fast and Furious movies, I don't think it. Get on board. I don't think a 10 second cameo at the end of this one is going to. No. I mean, I guess it's a long term strategy. Uh, maybe. You I know. think maybe you, you're counting on people coming back who were fans, maybe. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Who mm. are like, oh, I know him. I like him. Yeah. He's whatever. I think it should have been more akin. To Ice Cube returning in Triple X Three, I hear man towards the end of the thing, and he gets his own action sequence, and he kills everybody with a rocket, rocket launcher. launcher. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah. Finally, somebody said it. Mm. I mean, I guess the question is because one of the and everybody thing- goes, "It's Triple X Two Thousand and Five, or whatever, <laughs> or whatever." That's the one we didn't see yeah. this year. I think <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> um, here's a question. Go on. The only this is going to be my surprise now. It, in a break, He's got from, a gun. In a what? break from tradition. Oh yes, Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs in that, which is, which I think is the Rock character. Yes, doesn't have his little black goatee. Oh, and I think that's maybe why the movie didn't do as well. You think so? Yeah, that's why. That's mm. the only reason. Not because there was a nano night man and it made mm. no sense. And who right. cares? So is he going to have his Luke Hobbs beard? Ooh. That classic character, his little goatee. Or has the Rock sort of has evolved moved- his career to the point where he's like, I will not. Grow do any of that? Beard. I will. I will work out because to otherwise, the, to within an inch of my life, but I'll not grow any facial hair. Uh, but I feel like that look is synonymous with Hobbs. Hobbs yeah. or Shaw. Yeah, but if you look at like otherwise, it's Jungle Cruise or it's mm, Black true. Adam, even yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like so. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. What if he? What if his new look is he? Mister Elevator had a can, beard. What if he continually has a broken arm like he did in? Well, that would make seven. sense. And he's yeah, and he's still dragging that minigun. Yeah, he's like I, I broke it again. <laughs> <laughs> signature look though. Yeah, signature look. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. We'll find out about the goatee. Yeah. But anyway, do you think he won't? Yeah. Well, he didn't in Hobbs and Shaw. Oh, that's true. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Something to think about. It is. I mean, maybe maybe Vin insisted on the goatee 
And then in Hobbs and Shaw, he's like, I'm free. You can't make me. Finally. And in this, he's got a comeback hat in hand and <laughs> Vin's going to be like. Goatee on chin. Put the goatee on. <laughs> put it on. I'm going to put it on for you. <laughs> That's right. What do you think of that? Oh, yeah. unpleasant. <laughs> All right. Should we move it along? Yes. Well, Mason, the, the Fast and Furious franchise has now been going for 22 years or something. Huh. And we'll probably go for 22 more. Ah. Oh. 44 years. 44, 44 years. years. And we'll be saying the 44th <laughs> anniversary. We'll all be there stamping our feet. 44 Everybody be years. Everybody, Michelle Rodriguez and Vin yeah. will be in their walkers. Yeah, that's all good and fun. So we thought let's, before we get to that new movie next week, mm. let's talk about some of the longest running franchises in TV and film. Also, before you say that, does the original The Fast and the Furious count? No. Oh. Well, that's what I think what we're going to get into. Yeah, yeah. Because in a franchise, mm. what's an acceptable gap? Like, when yeah. does it become a new thing? Does a reboot count? Like, is that part of the same These franchise? These are all great questions, and we're going to establish that when uh, I would I would say a reboot doesn't count. But, okay. But, but I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying, James, we'll give, me some, give me some more examples. And then we'll, well, let's go, like, just for example, we're going yes. to talk about the Bond movies. Yes. Like, the Craig era is a reboot. It is a reboot. It's but does true. that count? Because I feel like there's no gap, really. They just yeah. keep making them. And mm. also, they're not really connected, are they, those m- movies? No. Yeah. No. Well, we're going to have to talk about it, you know, we'll see. Well, at <laughs> the right. end of each one All we right. talk about, we'll say. We'll say, is this a real yeah. franchise? And if the answer's no, yep. we're going to go to the, our local JB Hi-Fi or, or uh, other. Uh, Harvey home, Norman. Harvey Norman, other home media things, and we're going to go there and we're going to split them up. Yep. We're going to put a big stick yeah. between between Brosnan and, and Daniel Craig and be like, nope. Yeah, and if anybody tries to stop Slap us, em. yeah, we'll Slap say, em. hey, Slap the hands we're away. from the podcast. Yeah, we're from, the, we're from podcasting, all right? <laughs> we're going to make some changes around here. <laughs> the other thing is I, I don't think this counts, but I wanted to throw it to you. Mm-hmm. Some of these franchises survived maybe in like an animated series oh, yeah. or like comic books, mm. but like Shatner continued writing <laughs> William Shatner. That's <laughs> Star Trek fanfic yeah, after he, he fell off that bridge. I've read or whatever. some of those. Yeah, I've read more than one of those. <laughs> more than one. Yeah, that's yeah, too yeah. many. Uh, in in a lot of ways, I think what we'll, we'll probably come up with here is not a lot of definitive answers, but we will say a lot of things. Yep. And at the end, we'll go, yeah, yeah, and that's all you need. That's all you need, I think. So I don't think that counts when yeah. it steps away from TV and film. Mm. I don't think that counts. Yeah. Mm. But what do you think? Uh I mean, I do love the Shatnerverse. Yeah. I know you do. It was like that. We put him in a new body and he's sexy again, I think. I mean, he was always sexy, but sexier. Sexy again. Even sexier. Yeah. Think, you know. Yeah. Just as sexy as he was before that bridge fell on him or whatever happened. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. We, we gave him a bridge, bridge-proof bridge force field. A bridge could never fall on him again. Even an, if another rider has a bridge fall on him, it's an alternate timeline. doesn't yeah. count. That's right. Because I haven't read this. It'll probably bounce off him anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if it doesn't bounce off, they're cheating. Yeah. You know? <laughs> No, take backsies. So these are just kind of all over the place. There's no rhyme or reason or order to this. Good. Good. Why start now? Exactly. So let's talk about The Simpsons because that is 700 plus episodes. It has gone from 1989 uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. to the modern day. Is that including the Tracy Ullman show? No, I think the first season. That's a great question. Thank you. When was the first season of The Simpsons? Well, I would say that even still counts, right? Yeah, um, um, no. Yeah, first season. <laughs> I'm making my first it, definitive. Well, it started in December of '89. Okay, so, great. Because there was a right. Christmas episode that's of the right, dog yeah. and whatever. So mm-hmm. that's something that's to think about. That's a wild episode to start on, isn't it? It feels like the end of something or, yeah. a, or a Christmas special episode. Mm. Yeah, yeah. To be like Christmas first up. Well, too late now, I guess. Yeah, that's right. I'd send a letter of complaint, but it's too late. Yeah. Those early episodes are pretty rough. Yeah. I don't know if you've. Uh... But a lot of people are saying the new episodes, they're, they're hit, hit and kicking goals. Probably. Uh, yep. I don't know. I stopped watching in 1998, so I <laughs> couldn't tell you, Mason. Yes. Yeah, uh, but I guess this is – it's going. It's uh-huh. definitively going. Do you know, Mason, you're closer in age to now uh, Homer Simpson than you are to Bart Simpson. Did you know that? Yeah. And by that I mean you're older I think older I always was. Simpson. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't he canonically 30 – 38 or something? Okay, right. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. You're closer to Abe Simpson. Oh, man. Than Marge Simpson. Wow. Yeah. And you'll look like him too, Mason. Oh, yeah. No, that's So, yeah, fair. I guess to chuck some other animated stuff in there, Family Guy started in 99. That also had a cancellation, but all those DVDs. And the DVD sales brought it they back. They slithered yeah. into college door, dorm rooms mm. and it came back. That's right. Um, South Park started in 97. Yeah. That's still going. There's 4,000 episodes yeah, of that. Yeah. So Futurama took a big time break. Mm. Yeah. I would, would you say that's, that's, would you say that's still one? Yes, thing? I would. James. Even though it's. 
Paul's I think the doing, answer. I think the answer to most of these is going to be yes, they are. What was the last Futurama thing like 2014? Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Mm, there's no way to look that up. Yes, somebody, if somebody wants to do that. If you're making that spreadsheet where you're organizing these mm. by the length of, uh, of of the franchise, if you could put, also put that in. But like, if we're talking longest running, mm. I don't know if that like that does count. No, but the the Simpsons. Oh my god, the Simpsons definitely. I mean, yeah. sure, there's been at least a decade where everybody in the world said it was bad, <laughs> but uh, yeah. And none of the character models are interesting anymore. Have you no, notice that? Not. Yeah, yeah. There used to be some real freak shows in there. <laughs> yeah. Now they're all just, yeah. you know? Wibbly lines. And all the, yeah, yeah. And all the, the celebrity characters now just look like the celebrity. Yeah. You know? It's boring. And they'd have weirder celebrity cameos. Mm. Like just, like, I mean now more famously because there was a song in The Last of Us, but like Linda Ronstadt is in like an early episode yeah. mm-hmm. and just as herself and it's like, yeah. As a kid, I'm like, I don't know who this is. It's <laughs> right. But it could yeah. be made up for the show. Yeah. Yeah, there used to be celebrities would, like, voice, like, just characters. characters. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who knows anything? We don't know. Yeah. We're not qualified. Maybe we should. I'm, I'm, I will not. There's too much stuff yep. out in the world. I do not have time. Yep. I'm not going back to The Simpsons. Now, how about this? All you did was make 10 to 15 years of bad stuff and you lost me as a customer. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So here's another one. I have heard, I have heard some clips from. Uh, is it Julie Klausner who plays Marge? Yeah, maybe like recently. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly how she sounds. Yeah, yeah, like that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, she's yeah, yeah. And I mean, good on her for, for keeping going. Good because he's like ninety years yeah, old. Yeah, she's or whatever, ninety years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah. So Star Wars, Mason. I've heard of it. Well, I know, like it's never stopped, mm. right? Even though it went like the movies have run from nineteen seventy seven to. Are we nine- ranking these? Yeah, we're ranking the okay, movies. Great. No, I mean all the franchises. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so far, so far, Simpsons is at number one. I agree. So Star Wars ran from, from movies ran from seventy seven to twenty nineteen. Okay, so Star Wars is at number one. Simpsons is at number two now. Okay, great. Okay, right. You just ranking them in order that I'm saying them. We'll see, won't we? So here's the thing, though. Go on. First of all, in the movies, there's huge gaps. It's like mm-hmm. a fifteen year gap between yes. like Return of the Jedi uh-huh, and uh-huh, whatever. Uh-huh. And then there was a, another gap between the prequels and the sequels. Oh, you know what we should do? We should rank these in relation to the Fast franchise. Whether they're longer or shorter. No, better. Oh. Overall, they're better. Star Wars is better. I the feel. Simpsons is. I think The Simpsons is better than the Fast movies. W- the good even season- Fast Five. Yes, the good seasons of The Simpsons is are Fast really Five good. better than the monorail episode. It's not about which is the Fast Five of The Simpsons. It's not about better. Uh-huh. It's about length, okay. viability, strength, Mason. All right, conviction. Okay, All it's right. not about better. I got shows on here that you'd be like, that show sucks. Good. <laughs> then we can rank them lower. That's how ranking works. The ranking is in relation to how long it goes oh. for. Longevity, Mason. Oh, okay. All right, cool. All right. Is that all right? <laughs> Great. Terrific. I love that. <laughs> but it could be whatever. Okay, cool. But also Star Wars. Oh, you know, it should be one set of rankings. <laughs> but the ranking. We're that- not even writing it down. It I know. Matter. <laughs> somebody is, though. We asked somebody to do it. So some of the we're going to rank them in order, but some of the rankings are going to be via length and some are going to be via quality, but it's going to be the same list. <laughs> it's be the- I hate this. I love it. <laughs> so Star Wars TV, though, started in 1978. Yes. With the holiday special. They also did the, the Caravan of Courage movies. Mm. And then there was no Star Wars TV. Oh, there was some animated stuff, uh-huh. whatever. And then they did live action stuff, and that's still going to this day. Mm-hmm. Big gaps in Star Wars. That's true. But then it's it stayed alive through toys yeah, and yeah. comic books uh-huh. and books and mm. whatever, conventions. Hal Kestis. Yes. I still feel like this is viable even though there were gaps because it never... Oh, is Star Wars viable? Well, yeah, cause, yeah exactly, because it uh-huh. never stopped. Mm. There was never a period where everybody just went, stop making these. I know That's people true. are saying that now, but they, it still mm. makes money. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So it yeah. does, it, it, even though if you're like, well, I don't like it... Mm. No one gives a shit because they, they still make a billion dollars for now. I'm not saying yeah, that's yeah. forever. Do you, what do you think was the – because they, the, the, I, I do remember that period where there weren't any new movies or whatever coming out, but then there were the, the, the spin-off novels, yeah. the stuff that is now longer, no longer considered canon. The Tim Zan books. The, Tim, the Timmy Zan books. And et cetera. Timmy, yeah. Timmy Zanny. Was that, was that a best – like was that millions and millions of copies being sold? So. Or do you think it was just like a – uh, was it was it a, a franchise hanging by a thread? I think it kept like the fandom alive. Yeah, right, right. But like right. they didn't like there was they stopped making toys for a time, and then if you look at like n- probably about ninety four, maybe ninety five, they started to ramp it up again. Yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. when it kind of because they were getting ready because they were like we need to 
push this out mm. on people again to see if we can. These prequels are going to take off. League, oh, the fans saved it. The fans did save Star Wars, and that's why I'm putting it at number one on the list. Perfect mm. for length and how good it is. Yep. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I I just want to quickly mention this. Recently, we got a video about. Ray Skywalker, old Ray Skywalker, et cetera, that joke oh, yes. and whatever. And there's just a, f- they got a few comments that are just like, I'm never going to call her Ray Skywalker. Okay, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> she's a palpitant. She's not real. Yeah. She's not real. That's right. It's, it doesn't, yeah, yeah. who are you defending? <laughs> the not real. for? Yeah, like, Luke Skywalker's not real. Are you yeah, defending yeah. him? James, we have to send back our check from Lucasfilm because they said, they told us, you've got to convince that guy to call that character Ray Skywalker. We couldn't, we couldn't do we it. couldn't do it. Oh, my God. I didn't realise we'd come I'm up against... I'm in so against... much debt, James. Yeah. We didn't think we'd, we'd encounter such a mind, That's you know. <laughs> yeah. Checkmate, I suppose. <laughs> oh, he's bested us. Yeah, yet yeah. again. Uh, so Star Trek, though. Oh, yeah. So the movies ran from 79 to 2016. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the series ran, have run from 1966 to 2023, they're still going. Mm. But there's also, like, it was cancelled after three seasons. That's true. There was an animated and, one. And, and three was, like, yeah, three was touch and go for a long time. Pretty there. ropey, yeah. And then, yeah, the animated one, and then they obviously came back with the movies, mm. then Next Gen, then whatever, whatever, et cetera. William Shatner. Um, William Shatner, uh, Shatner Cap, Cap, Captain Kirk <laughs> fanfic, yes. And then. In, the William Shatner sexy verse. That's right. And then 2005, mm. it died again with Enterprise. That's true. Uh, Enterprise ended and Nemesis killed mm. it yeah. around that time. And then it came back in 2009. Yes. So it's had some gaps. Mm. But I think this is still, like, it's just still long running. But it's interesting because it stopped not because, like, Star Wars, like, whenever it stops, has chosen to stop. Yeah, right. Whereas Star Trek has been forced into cancellations a couple, uh-huh. or, like, hiatus yeah, 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 a couple yeah, yeah. of times. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. What, uh, what... What long dormant or dead franchise do you think Chris Pine should be forced to resurrect next? Because mm. he's done Star Trek, yep. he's done Dungeons and Dragons, he did a third one that I can't remember. I think he should go to the Walking Tall franchise. So oh, there yeah. was The Rock, mm-hmm. there was Kevin Sorbo, oh, yeah. it's Chris Pine's turn yeah, because nice. big piece of wood, Chris Pine, it's perfect. That's great. Yeah. Yes, I love that. What do you think? I love that. Yeah. Mm. Do you have another idea of a franchise? No. But what if I did? The Saint. He'd be a good Ooh, The Saint. They tried that a few They did, years yeah. Ago, yeah. But do it with Chris Pine. Make him do it. I would love that. Make him do it and nobody sees it. Oh, my God. No one will see it. He's really charming, but nobody sees I it. I see it on Netflix and I'll be like, should I watch that? I'll put it on my list, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. The Saint's actually a really good idea. Yeah, I agree. that was Roger Moore and then Val Kilmer. Yep. And then that one that they tried and that was like, this is a pilot for a new series and then it didn't get picked up. So they're like, this is a movie it's now. It's a movie, actually. It's always been a movie. Yeah, it's always quite been frankly. a movie, yeah. yeah. Do you want to watch it? If you watch it, we'll make it into a series. I don't want to watch it that much. I don't <laughs> want anything that much. I'm just going to sit here and stare at the black screen. I'm going to switch this off and stare at it. So it's a great idea. I'm going to put, write that down. You somewhere. should do I'm it. Going to write to Chris Pine. You do it. You do it. He'd make a good the saint. Mm. So you're saying Star Trek doesn't count because no. I, I think it counts. I'm saying it definitely does count. I just say it got cancelled. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah. well, I'm going to put it at the top. All right, I'm going to put it at the because top of too. length and quality. Now, how about this, Mason? There are 871 episodes of Doctor Who, maybe more or less. Uh-huh. It ran from, Is that surviving or all No, probably not. Mm. It ran from 1963 to 1989, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then there was a tally movie that was supposed mm-hmm. to launch into a series. I remember that. Which Paul McGann. Paul McGann, 1996, and then it was resurrected in 2005, and it's running to the modern day. Yeah. Big gaps, Mason. Mm, big gaps. But it never went off. Oh, as in off television. Yeah. That, that's probably true, yeah. 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 I don't know. And it, it survived, I think, as well through those audio plays. Yeah. Like when I think of – there's a company called Big Finish and I think, you know, when I think of um, the modern modern audio dramas, there's obviously there's a Batman one and the Wolverine yeah. one and et cetera, but like the, the bread and butter of that industry I think is Doctor Who – Mm. Radio plays. I think even Eccleston's done some recently. Yeah, it's, the yeah. guy who hates Doctor Who. Yeah, but he loves standing in a booth for money. That is true. Yeah, that'd be good. I'd That's do that. Yeah, yeah, why wouldn't he? He should resurrect the phone booth franchise. I agree. There's another guy in a booth, and he's Scottish now. <laughs> the other one was Irish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> whoa! I read the. Um, I don't have it here. Yeah, but apparently. The, produ- the producers behind Phone Booth, I think one of them might have been Robert Evans. It was two. Okay. Uh, you know, the guy, he's like a famous, insane producer. He's, there's a book called The Kid Stays in the Picture. It's all about all his various escapades. He's a lunatic. Anyway, okay. but <laughs> it's, it was him. And I think it might have been even Hitchcock. Yeah. They had the idea for Phone Booth 
But then they were like, we can't do it because we can't think of something that would make a guy stuck in a phone booth for a long time. (laughs) And then it took till like 2002 before somebody was like, someone's someone's got got a gun. Like these two geniuses in the film industry. (laughs) And they're just sitting there being like, how can he stop? He can just leave the phone, but he can leave any time he wants. What if it was locked? There's no tension. He can just leave. What if there's a lock on it? Yeah, but there wouldn't be. They don't have locks. It's made of glass. You can just kick through it. (laughs) Door's made of glass. Could have been a bomb. Yeah. Like, it could have been any number of weapons. (laughs) I mean, It could have been a dare. And look, logically... They weren't spending their entire lives thinking. Well, about obviously, they had yeah. Other yeah. Stuff. It sounds like something somebody put in a book, like in a notebook. Like, yeah. oh, what if, what if a guy was in a phone booth and then they mark. just left it, yeah. and they found it later and went, I don't know, a sniper or whatever. <laughs> but I think it's funnier if you think of just a bunch of this, just these people who made iconic yeah, yeah. movies, be like, I just don't know, <laughs> and don't ask anybody else. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, they do ask everybody. Else. They're asking everybody from like the craft services guy to the lighting guys. Like, mm. how can? And they're all like, I don't know, man. I just do I don't lights. Know, maybe like I just do sandwiches. I don't know. Maybe there's oxygen in the phone booth, but there's none outside of the phone booth. What a space phone booth! Get out of here! You're fired. Oh, <laughs> uh, what if he's? I don't know, man. I just, I just. What if he's eating a sandwich? I don't know. Get out of here. <laughs> what if he slips and he's stuck? Stuck like he falls in a weird way. He's kind of wedged in there. No, no, you know when you he says like a, you sound like some sort of pervert. No, no. Listen, listen. Like how you have a heart attack in like an airplane bathroom and you fall against the door. It's that. It's a dead man in a phone booth. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a ninety minute movie. Oh, we can't get it open. He's falling against the door. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's dead. Wow. <laughs> Eventually, they just pick it up in a crane and toss it into the river. <laughs> Anyway, what were we talking about? I've forgotten. Uh, Doctor Who? Oh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. At the top. I, yeah, it's a, of course. It's not, in terms of length and quality. Yeah, sure. Uh, also, yeah, I mean, again, Doctor Who's a series I should love, but I just don't. Well, there's a lot of good stuff in there's there. There's a lot of good stuff. I love the Eccleston season, I think. Sure. And the, and the first Tenant. Yeah. But everything else, I don't know. Uh, so I've got here, like, Spider-Man, which, like, as a live action thing was 77 to mm. 2019. But, like, how would you, like, what about, like, Batman? Because there was Batman serials in like the forties or whatever, mm. and then there was the sixty series, and then there was the eighties movies, and he was in like Super Friends and animations, yeah, yeah. and and it's like is that the one like it's an IP? No. Yeah, it's IP, but I it's not it's an like. IP. Yeah, yeah, and would yeah. you say that's the same for Spider Man? Yeah, because they're part of a larger universe. I think. Even though Tobin Maguire came back recently, he did come back recently, didn't he? Mm. It was a good movie. Uh, yeah, it was. I think probably people don't talk about it. <laughs> They've never talked about it. I wish somebody would talk about Spider Man No Way Home. Mm. I agree. So we're not putting in Spider Man or Batman or no, any of those or Superman or they whatever. They go to hell. They're at the bottom of the list, quite frankly. Did you they not? Failed. Oh, they're on the list. Wow. I've decided, even though they're not franchises on their own, I'm putting them at the bottom of the list. Okay, bottom of the list. Disappointing, both of you. Did you know there's 537? That doesn't seem enough episodes of Law and Order Special Victims Unit. That does seem low, doesn't it? In 1999. Yeah. So there you go. Wow. I mean, the Law and Order universe. That's huge. There was an earlier one. Wasn't there one from like the early Yeah, 90s? there was regular Law and Order. Regular all. Let's keep some Law and Order around here. So there's regular Law and Order, then there was Special Victims Unit, then there was that one Vincent D'Onofrio was yeah. in. Cr- cr- victim Crimes something. No, that's Special Victims Unit. <laughs> victim Crime Man. Victim Crime Man. It'll tell you whether you're a victim or you're a crime. <laughs> it's It'll look you in the eye. It's not what it, that is, I don't think. Comes into the end and he's like, I think you're a murderer. And they go, I'm not. And he goes, well, yeah. I'm magic and you are, so fuck you. Go to jail. <laughs> Guess I'm going to jail. <laughs> this guy's good. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm going to jail. He's, he's, he went to. He did several improv courses. <laughs> he can improv people into jail. Uh, and then I think Maloney's doing another one. I think he is. Organised crime, I think it's called. Organised crime. That's right. Is he organising the crime He's organising the crime. Wow. That's all right. You have to... Oh, do you have the bill on there? Oh, when did the bill... Well, the bill stopped. Yeah, but then there was some spin-offs from the bill. Was there? Yeah. There was one where a guy... Reg. Yeah, one of the guys... Reg at home. One of the guys from the bill went evil. He went wrong. It was called Reg Goes Wrong. <laughs> Reg from, is from the case files of the bill. That was what it was called. Reg is a public nuisance. Right. He's a flasher. Right. Reg. So it was cancelled in 2010. Possible wow. revival. I don't know if there are any. All right, well, Dan, well, the, what am I thinking of then? There was definitely a Reg goes wrong from the case files of the bill. I know there was like in the bill, there was like people would go wrong within the bill. Yeah, but I think one of them got a spin off. All right, let's find out. Okay. Uh, there was a show called Proof of Life. Was that it? Nope. Farewell, the bill. I'm going to do my own research and I'll get back to you next week. It was a, that was a two-part storyline, whatever, oh. whatever, whatever. Anyway, the bill. 
It's Funny a, stuff. Mm. Um, anyway, anyway, the bill's at the bottom. All right. And what about Law and Order? Uh, let's get these crimes underway and stopped. Yeah, that's that's a that's, that's a there. franchise it's for probably sure. Probably number one. It's probably number one, honestly. Now, what in about terms of length and quality and Christopher Maloney? This is and Briska con- Hargitay, delightful. And sure. Ice T is in there. Yep. For, from Ice T memes alone. Sure. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Here's a question for you though. Now, the Mummy franchise that began in 1932 and yes. ended. Yes. For now, mm. in 2017. Yeah, yeah. So we had, we've got the original run, which mm. ended in 1955. Yeah. We've got the uh, Rachel Weisz, Brendan Fraser run, which went from 99 to 2008. Are you including the third one there? Yes. Okay. And then, of course, and then of course we've got the Scorpion King movies, mm. which were direct to DVD. Yep. And then mm. we've got the Tom Cruise revival mm. of the Dark Universe in 2017, which is technically set in the previous mm. version. Let me ask you this, though. Uh, would they keep making these if the concept of the mummy wasn't free? No. Then it's not a franchise. I don't but think. it's not free anymore it's because if you've got to make these, right. you have to bring somebody back. And by that I mean like the right. ones people like. Okay, right, right. Like the IP itself is worthless. That's true. Outside of those movies. It's a bargain is what yeah. you're saying. And even in that, there's only one really good movie of that like, great. the yeah. entire yeah, run, yeah, 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 you know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so let's put it at number two. That's yeah. I mean, it's 19, not a franchise, but let's put it. Nineteen thirty-two to twenty seventeen. It's a long good. time. It's, it's the longest good. one we've done. Yeah, it's so. the longest one we've done. So it's, I think it's below Doctor Who. Wherever we put Doctor Who, I reckon yep. just below that. I reckon. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And so it's probably good. better in quality than Doctor Who. But I want to be clear, it is not a franchise. Yeah. But due to the length, yep. it, that's extenuating circumstances. I think we'll put it at number two. All right. Okay, I'm going to put it at number two also. Okay, great. That's terrific. So there's two separate ones now. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's two separate, separate there's, there's now two separate ranking yeah. systems, but currently they are the same. The timelines have not diverged. Okay, terrific. Yes. I love this. What about this, Mason? Okay. There are 15 seasons oh my God. and 327 episodes of Supernatural. It somehow ran from twi- 2005 to 2020. Mm-hmm. It was supposed to end after five seasons, yeah, right. but it kept going forever and ever. How many seasons did you say? It's 12 seasons. 15. 15 seasons. Uh, oh, maybe well, 15 years. So it went 10 seasons more than it was supposed to. How many? That se- is madness. Yeah. But, you know, and it came back yeah. as a spinoff. With the that Winchester. is wild. Also. It is 15 seasons. Because... I imagine if they had intended to go to five seasons, they would have put every, like, ounce of, like, storytelling, like, everything they'd intended to do. And, like, yes. they, they would have been like, oh, my God, and they're fighting God and the devil and yep. whatever. And then it, they went, got to – and they were like, now we can finally retire from demon hunting because we killed God and the devil or whatever. Yeah. And then they're like, there's a bigger God and a bigger devil, actually. <laughs> <laughs> He's on a ladder. Yeah, He's much they, taller. They live in – I live in Canada. <laughs> down the, down. Well, yeah, so if you watch 1 to 5, which I have, mm-hmm. it's got a really great ending. Yeah. And then I watched to maybe maybe 7. Okay. But I never disliked it. Right. Like I don't think the stuff after is as strong. Mm. And, it, you know, it, apparently it like ebbs and flows afterwards. Right, but right. I, 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 a... I accept at this point that I'm never going to watch it. Yes. Mm. And it's a shame. Does that affect your ranking of it, do you think, as a franchise? You're saying, should I move it from number one, which is where I'm placing it? Yes, exactly. No, it's going to be number one for me. What about you? Both length and quality. I mean, that's 15 is is long. That's not as long as Doctor Who. Or The Mummy. That's true. But based on what I've seen of Supernatural, which is the first episode, I would say it's probably a more consistent quality than Doctor Who. Okay. So I'm probably going to put it at number one. All right, number one it is. So there's still two. The rank yeah. is still the same. It's exactly currently. the same for now. Mm. Now you told me to put this in. And whatever that, if you last me to name, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to list them. So. You don't need to. Okay. Because someone's making a list. Yeah. Last of the summer wine. That's right. Because one time. What is this? One time we put it, we, we were talking. Because we've, we've probably done this episode before. Yes. <laughs> one time we were talking about franchises and somebody on Twitter was like, you've forgotten about last of the summer wine. That's the longest. That's no, the longest. it's not. Well, it ran from 20, to 1973 to 2010. Well. Sounds like I got bad info. Yeah. Yeah. This guy's wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that's at number one, though, because that's actually quite a long time. Okay, well, I'm going to put it <laughs> – I'm going to put it – because I got bad info and I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. sore about that. I'm going to put it at the bottom, but not the bottom, because obviously uh, Spider-Man and Batman are at the bottom. Yeah. Because this is a fr- – I'm going to put it – Third from the bottom. All right, well, I'm going to do the thing you did. Okay, so that's my okay, mind. Right, You've terrific. somehow persuaded me. That never happens. <laughs> That was a really compelling argument. I think so too. So what about this? Okay. There's 27 movies in the James Bond franchise maybe. That's true. It's been running from 1962 to 2021, which is the last one, but it's still Mm. going. Yeah. There are pauses in between eras and Mm. sometimes movies. For example, there was 
About sometimes nothing will pause them, not even a rider strike. That's right. They'll just keep on making them. Yeah. So like between Spectre and No Time to Die, it was nearly six years. That's true. But that I would say like that's the same franchise. It's the mm. same bond. It's yeah, the same yeah, yeah. universe of that one. Mm. The longest gap there has ever been was six years between License to Kill and Goldeneye. And that was like... But there oh. was probably a rights thing and they didn't know who was going to be Bond and whatever. And then oh, it yeah, went from true. Dalton to Brosnan. Mm. But this has been going since mm. 1962. I think they were probably this. They probably spent that six years going, how can we make Brosnan's like the perfect debut? And then they were like, well, he bungees off yep. the side of a dam and then he appears in a toilet. <laughs> they figured it out. Yeah, that's right. So there any way we can get him into a phone booth? I've got that in my notes. How do we keep him in a phone booth? How do you booth? get a minute of him? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> so, uh, Bond, 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 Bond. I think this is even when it's bad, which mm. it is every two yeah, or yeah, third, yeah, yeah. three movies, mm. people always like it. It always comes back mm. strong. Uh, there's always interest in it. Sounds like it's Anglic for spot yeah. number one. Sure. I mean, if it's if it's paused, it's usually through no fault of its own mm. or because they're just re- rearranging it right. to make it into something yeah. else. And all, it all, always these comes, other fr- yeah. all these other franchises, when there's a pause, it's their fault. Yeah. Mm. It usually always comes back strong. There are some exceptions like the Lazenby one and whatever, but it normally comes back. But I've come around on the Lazenby one. Yeah, but I mean at the time oh, I'm yeah, saying yeah, like yeah, people yeah. were like yeah, blue yeah. and no thank you. Mm, so, you know. It's very true. Anyway, that's the number one. That's the number one, I think. Length and quality. 1962. Yeah, Long yeah. time. That's true. What about this one? The Tonight Show. This doesn't sound right. It's got 1,873 episodes. Is that right? Yeah, five days a week. Yeah, I guess. But it started in 1954. Oh, I don't know. Is that too few now? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe they're not. Maybe the, the Tonight Show isn't five days a week. Maybe it is. I don't, know, I don't watch it. Yeah. Um, who hosts it even? Is it Fallon? Is that Fallon's one? The Tonight Show with? I think it is Fallon. Okay. Okay. So, But th- does that count? It's like, uh, <laughs> you know, you get a celebrity out and you go, what kind of hat you're wearing or whatever the fuck happens. It's, it's I've an NFT hat. I've heard you got a story to tell about a fucking boring thing you did. I do. I'm boring. <laughs> I'm inherently very boring, actually. But they, 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 people have decided that I'm on a celebrity now. So I have to, I'm here, I'm in a bunch of movies until people realize I'm boring and here's stop an, coming to my movies. Here's an anecdote. Here's an anecdote mm. I made up that we prepared before the show. We mm. practiced this. Yeah, yeah. I don't think this counts. No, no. I mean, compared to everything else we've talked no, about. No, because then, like, does this count podcasts? Yeah. It's only 10 years of this. Yeah. We're number, number one. one. Yeah, good. <laughs> We should wrap it up there, but we won't. <laughs> Let's see where we end up because currently we're at number one. Sure. But I feel like, you know, we could be knocked from the top spot. Absolutely. By a bold competitor. Now, the length of this isn't necessarily that impressive. That's what she said, Mason. Aha! But my goodness, there's a lot of them. Okay. Very girthy? Yep, sure. Yeah. Uh, the MCU's run from 2008 to the modern day. There's 32 movies. Mm. That's excluding television shows and yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever, et cetera. Mm. 32 movies in 15 years is a... That's an insane a, amount of output, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, And that's not even everything. That's true. That's some of it. Mm. So, you know. Yeah. Um, I think that's a fine contender for number two. Yep, you might be right under mm. the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah great. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Because we've been doing this for nearly 10 years. I so. agree. Yeah. yeah. We've probably got... Yeah, we've got more episodes than we've got movies. So, yeah. Yeah, fine. Yeah. How about this one? In the Godzilla franchise... Mm-hmm. There's 38 films, 33 of them are Japanese. There's uh-huh. a Godzilla Japanese franchise has run from... 20, 1955 to 2021, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then there's various spin-offs and yep. mm-hmm. whatever. The biggest gap was 12 years, and that was between 2004 and 2016. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But I don't. But there were Godzilla things in there, right? I know there there was like all well, in between that, those years. There was Godzilla 1998. Well, yeah. <laughs> between 2004 and 2017. That's true. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, Godzilla 1998. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there was other versions, right? And incarnations and sure. I assume. I don't know the specifics. But like <laughs> Godzilla's never gone away. That's true. 55. It's not in 55, but mm. but it's not the one continuity outside of like the the mainline Japanese ones, right? Like the the American ones they've made. There's the 98 we've, one. We've hit, this is the moment in the episode where everybody who's a huge fan of Godzilla <laughs> is going to be like, what are they going to say? What are they going to well, say? Well, I'm saying there's different versions. Like there's like the original, mm. then there's the, then like the American one is like the 98 one and then that yeah. stopped immediately. And then there's, now there's a new batch of That's true. Godzilla movies. And there's, a, there's, the, there's the new American Godzilla movies and there's new Japanese Godzilla yep. movies and there's, there's, Shin, there's Shin stuff, Godzilla yeah. who's a different Godzilla and so on and so forth. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, you've got to give them credit for persevering, I reckon. I agree. You know, trying their little hearts out, putting on, their, putting on their foamy suits, you know, 
running around a cardboard city. Yeah. You know? Knocking it down. In Godzilla versus Kong. I think that you know? dog's getting in. Hang on. Yeah. Anyway, I reckon we put it at number two. All right. So I reckon it's our podcast, the Godzilla verse, the MCU. Perfect. Are you what you doing? <laughs> She's made it in here. <laughs> You escaped, yeah. It's all the time, everyone. Like, I literally. Oh, yeah. No, it seems to me that you're making the best of a bad situation. Oh. She escaped your clutches, and now she's leaving. And okay, I'm... bye, Ali. Oh, that was embarrassing for me. Mm. Scooby-Doo started in 1969. Number one, move on. Uh, <laughs> what's the continuity of Scooby-Doo? I don't know. Yeah. But I love that uh, it's dog time, though. Yeah. And you've got to give him credit for dog time, That's I think. true. Got a yeah. few more left here. Okay. These are the big ones, Mason. Mm-hmm. There's 4,000 plus episodes of Sesame Street that started in 1969. Okay, but they're all set in a separate continuity. Okay. I don't know if you've, you were aware. I don't know how many episodes. I've got that note here, so yeah, oh, I agree right, with right. you. Okay. Right, this one. Play School, Australian TV show Play School, <laughs> kids' yeah. show has 4,500 episodes started in 1966. Well, actually, each one of those episodes is set in the same continuity as the comparable Sesame Street episode. Okay. So they've all paired up, but there's 500 more episodes of Play School. Yeah. That's set in the MonsterVerse. They're, okay. all set, they're all set in the new, the present-day Godzilla MonsterVerse. Well, doesn't that bump up the MonsterVerse then? Oh, yeah, I guess it like does. Like 500? Yeah. Yeah. So, so I mean, the quality's not great. I agree. Yeah. They're so. always like, oh, I've made a paper plate, do a hat. And there's Godzilla's fighting Mothra in the background yeah. or whatever. It doesn't, you can barely see it. You can barely see it through the round window or the square window. Sure. Mm-hmm. Now, in terms of output, yes. the number one is probably Coronation Street. Okay. Bit which of I've written near 100,000 episodes, but that cannot be right. It would have to be 10,000. I'll check that again. It started in 1960. Okay. And it's still going. Wow. So that's pretty wild. Mm. There's 60 seasons mm-hmm. and there's, there's 10,951 episodes as of that May. That is the rare exception to the British rule of like. Cancelling well, a thing. No, well, yeah, or like, yeah, there's 20 seasons and they're two episodes each or whatever. Mm. Absolutely right. Here's some other ones that, like, Lassie has 591 episodes. Yeah, ER yeah, yeah. has 331 episodes. Law and Order, as mentioned, has 487 mm-hmm. episodes. Gunsmoke has 635 okay. episodes. But there's other ones who have about that okay. many. In okay, there. so I think I think we've got to give it to Coronation Street yep. because of the 10,000 episodes. Yep. So it's Coronation Street, Scooby Doo, yep. our podcast, yep. Godzilla. Yep. Godzilla the slash the Play School universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the MCU. Yep. And then random whatever else. Yeah. <laughs> Batman at the bottom. Batman at the bottom. Yeah. Exactly. In the where, he, where, he, where he deserves to be. Yep. Mm. He's just below the movie Phone Booth. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. What an absolute failure of a franchise phone booth. I agree. You could get another guy in another booth? Ridiculous. Insane. Yeah. Think well, harder. Try and think of a different reason for someone to be in a booth, though. <laughs> Maybe he's making a phone call. <laughs> what? For, for 90 minutes, Mason? Yeah. Yeah, he might. It's a sex line. Oh, yeah. I get, that's too long. Mason, Go let's on. move it along. Okay. Well, what's the segment called? It's called What We Reading. What We're Gonna Read. We're Gonna Read. Wow. I'm doing the theme. What are we reading today? <laughs> wow, this is a segment of the show where we go, what? It's not true, <laughs> isn't it? I don't think so. Oh. I think this is the part of the show where we talk about what we've been reading or watching. What? Or what we're going to be. All right, you did get me. You did that. <laughs> You did incorporate that so seamlessly. Yeah, that you're as I always right. do. That's true. Uh, the, the moment where you pretend to be a little bit deaf <laughs> or not paying attention, and I think that's I think that's wonderful. What have you been reading or doing? Well, I got started on. Oh my god, show you bought bags. Show and tell time. Uh, because I what I read some of oh, this. Oh, he's just doing cocaine again. <laughs> Mason, come on! <laughs> nah, this is what it's what it's what I've been reading, man. I've been reading all these lines. <laughs> Just kidding. We don't recommend cocaine no. on the Weekly Planet podcast. We don't endorse it. Nope. Don't do it. It's too expensive anyway. No, exactly. But tell you what's not expensive. Something that I uh, I read a few issues left, but I didn't finish it, but I found the trade paperback, so I thought I'd give it another go. And speaking of Superman Legacy and so forth, uh, it's uh, Jimmy Olsen. Superman's oh, pal Jimmy Olsen. What year uh, is Matt, this? This is a couple of years ago, Matt Fraction, Damn. So, uh, who wrote, of course, the uh, Hawkeye uh, series My Life as a Weapon, which we all enjoy and we've talked about on the Book Club. Should we read this and do it on Book Club? We could do. We could read it. This looks sick, man. But it's uh, it's uh, Superman's uh, constant sidekick over a million trillion years, just getting it. It's, it's very funny, just getting into all sorts of weird scrapes. and shenanigans. Oh, he's done into a weird monster. Yeah, he's done into all sorts of stuff, this guy. That's cool, man. This, like is, this is a re- it's a real kind of showcase for like, why is this character been around for so long? Yeah, uh, and oh, there's some like peanut style. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of uh, like fun, fun, a lot of fun artwork. It's just, um, did you you read All Star Superman? Yes. You know how in that it's a it's a little bit more the the whole thing's a bit kind of oh shucks. 
that kind of thing. Yeah, it's a little bit all shucks, but it's also a bit like it's sort of this utopian world. Oh, a little okay, bit. yeah, yeah. But but in that, Jimmy Olsen is sort of like this weird Gonzo journalist who's like, um, this this week, um, becoming a race car driver or whatever. Yeah. it's kind of that, but it's like like very self aware and yeah. kind of silly and, and based, and it's just him. How much Superman is there in it? Almost no Superman, from what I remember. What? Yeah. What would I even some read Lois that Lane, then? Some uh, some Turtle Boy. Oh, there's a little, there's a little bit of Superman. I saw some Superman there. Anyway, well, I was going. Well, I was going to say maybe we should do it for um, the Comic Book Club, but we have to. We've, our Comic Book Club has been very DC heavy recently. That's true. Have you noticed? I wonder if it's because DC are more willing to go. Okay, here's six issues or twelve issues, and it's this, and it's yeah. and we're we're writing for trade paperback, mm. whereas Marvel. I'm like going. we are writing for ten trade paperbacks. Yeah. Like I got started on there was an there's an X Men series called uh, House of X, Powers of X, and there's just so much of it. Right. Okay. And I'm like, man. Did you see um Frank Miller? Uh, Miller is going. He's doing a new Wolverine thing, right? Did you see the? Um... Yeah, I did see it. Yeah. Is he okay? I don't know with Frank Miller. Yeah. I don't know with that guy. Anyway. I just like he's doing Ghost Rider Wolverine, Weapons yeah. of Vengeance. And it's a very odd perspective. It's really on weird. Yeah, I um I'm just looking at it right now. I saw a tweet that was like, hey, maybe he should just be one of those guys who's like, he's got a team of artists and he's just like, draw a Wolverine. These are my ideas. And they draw a Wolverine. Do it in the and style. They're like, and, he's, it and they're like, good job. Yeah. You know? Anyway, good luck to him. I think good luck to him. Um also. I watched The Rise of Skywalker with my son, because that's where oh, we're up to. Oh, okay. So he's seen Four, five, and six. Yep, and now the sequel trilogy, but not the prequels yet. No, we're going to do that next. Interesting. What did he think of Rise of Skywalker? He liked it. Interesting. Um, he had questions. He's like, "Why is the Emperor back?" And mm. I'm like, "Wow, well, it's a clone." And he's like, "But, but why?" They didn't. Uh, and I'm like, "No, it's not in the movie." <laughs> and and there was a, he had a bunch of other. He's like, "When did when did?" Sounds like a smart kid. He goes, "When did where did Maz Kanata get Luke Skywalker's lightsaber from?" And I'm like, "Well." <laughs> Nobody knows. Nobody knows. So there's a lot of stuff like that. Mm. Just like it's called a mystery box, young yeah. man. <laughs> it's weird because like I didn't prompt any of these things. Right. He's like seven, but he's asking very like mm. obvious questions. Yeah. That... <laughs> it's it's almost like they should have had like a seven year old in the room to ask questions. Yeah. Like they should have had a script read, and the kid could have been like, okay, what about? Hang on. If what if what if a, what if a bit of metal chipped off the knife? Yeah, would have said. Yeah, exactly. They wouldn't be able to find the what thing if in the, the Death Star. Death Star fell slightly differently. Mm. Yeah, so I mean, it's I don't like it, obviously. <laughs> sure, but I, uh-huh. I, Adam Driver and Daisy Ridley are really good in uh-huh. it. There's some good action stuff in it, I mm. guess. And it was good to I showcase. Even mind the Emperor's it was good back, to showcase guess, I don't know. The, the 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 like the really powerful dynamic between the Knights of Ren. You know what I mean? Yeah, finally, we finally got him to just really. People dying and then coming back immediately, just mm. as well. Like Chewie dies and comes back. C three P gets his mind wipe and comes back. That's right. Uh, Ray Kylo Ren dies and gets stabbed through the chest or whatever, and then Ray heals him. Mm. And then Ray dies and comes back, but then Kylo Ren dies at the end. <laughs> it's just a really good movie. It's, a good, it's good stuff, I think. I didn't know like the voices of the Jedi. It's like you know, it's like Qui Gon is like, oh yeah, Ray, no, I'm right. Liam Neeson and. My son's mm. like, I don't know who Liam Neeson is. And I'm like, well, you should have watched the prequel trilogy. Yeah, you should have watched Taken. <laughs> you should have watched Taken. You should have watched Taken. Anyway, but what I also watch is Tenacious Day have a new uh, a new song. It's called Video Games. Okay. It's a really fun little animation. I wish the song was longer. Huh. The song is probably like maybe a minute ten long. Okay. But it's just about how much he doesn't have, doesn't play video games except for all the amazing video games he plays. Huh. Anyway, it's got like four million views. Okay. Anyway, whatever. So check it out. If you like Tenacious D. I do like Tenacious D. Good, Mason. Mm. It's time for letters. It's time for letters. Ah! The classic one was letters, oh letters, we love you. Some letters, they're only a day away. We're going to hear right now, we're going to do letters. <laughs> we are going to do letters. We are, because this is the segment of the show where we go, what letters have you sent us? And you can send letters uh, you can hashtag. You're adding can... some sort of weird thing to all these segments. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> it's, it's an You're ev- trying to push some sort of agenda. It's an ever-evolving show, Mason. Mm. You can't be stagnant. Have you made a bet with your wife that you'll say what during all the segments? <laughs> Maybe I won't figure it out and I'll look quite the fool and you'll make fun of me on your less popular podcast suggestible? Yeah. That's cool, man. <laughs> you think it's cool? Well played, sir. <laughs> 
That's epic bacon. I like the way you I'm figured concerned. it out immediately. Yeah, I'll figure these things out. Uh, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod on Twitter or Weekly Planet Pod at gmail.com. Yes. Do you got a one there? i got to find one. i got one. Okay. It's from Gareth Jones who says, Hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. Plod, pod. <laughs> Loving Never Go Back. So I can't believe he said that. I can't believe I he said know. Weekly Planet Plod. What an idiot. But uh, mm. Never Go Back, we're doing video game let's plays at bigsandwich.co. Uh, so he right. said... Loving that Never Go Back is, well, you know, apologies if this is ubiquitous, but can we please have James versus Mason on Mario Kart battle mode? I still want to hear Mace's, Mason's victory cackle when deploying the heinous red shell. Guess what? I don't understand what any of those things, man. <laughs> you're no, not, a, no, you're not a Mario Kart guy. No. It would be me obliterating Mason at mm. Mario Kart, which we can do. I guess. I would love to obliterate you We'll do Mario that Kart. for money. <laughs> I don't even care, but I'll be like, I don't even care. I'll keep saying that. I don't even care. I'm not even winning, are you? I'll put my controller down. I don't even care. I'll look and play upside down. I'm not even looking at the screen. I'm going to let you pick the version of Mario Kart if we do it. You pick one. Okay. Yeah. You can't say Wacky Wheels because that's not Mario Kart. I don't even know what that is. You can't say it. Wow. Mm. Sensible wheels. (laughs) Um, I would like to do Mario Kart 64, but there are others. Is that the good one? Oh, there's a bunch of good ones. They're all pretty mm. good. We've opened a real can of worms between the Mar- Mar- Maryland, Maryland, and Maryland, Virginia, Maryland, Maryland yeah. and Virginia. I agree. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Um, um, thank you, Gareth, for in- and for signing up and enjoying and saying kind things. We appreciate yes. that. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, what? Well, how many emails we got? There's a few here. This is from Max. Max. This one says Maryland versus Virginian drivers. Oh, hey there, oh. fellas. The driving debate has inspired me to write in about the different Northeast American. Driving habits. So not even just North American, but specifically Northeast American. So That's good regions. data because now I know where these places are, mm. uh, which vary wildly. After being a lifelong New Yorker, then moving to Virginia, I can confirm that the drivers are two different breeds. Whoa. The reality is that New York drivers are very competent but are assholes behind the wheel, which leads to road rage. In Virginia, the drivers are quite pleasant, but they all drive like old ladies. Oh, my Driving God. Driving out or below the speed limit, don't use turn signals, slam on brakes at yellow lights when moving at significant speeds. With that being said, do you think New Yorkers or Virginians are better drivers? Well, I mean, like you mentioned, there's two different skill sets, isn't mm, there? There is, yeah. Yeah, I think also, I don't know, I mean, because the New York driving is, I'd imagine, would be different because you're not going at speed, really. Yeah, yeah. It's very stop-start. Uh-huh. It's inner-city driving yeah, a lot yeah, of the yeah, time. Yeah. yeah. And yet Stephen has written in, long-time listener, first-time writer. They're all coming out of the woodwork. Wow, where are they? Just wanted from? to throw my hat into the debate between Virginia and Maryland oh drivers. God. I've lived in northern Virginia my entire life and can confidently say Maryland drivers are by far the worst. <sighs> Virginia drivers are aggressive, but Maryland drivers are downright terrifying. They don't know how to drive, and I often fear for my life while crossing the state borders. Any day you have to drive into Maryland is a bad day. Oh, my God. The only good thing they have there are blue crabs, but that doesn't excuse their lack of common sense behind the wheel. (laughs) Anyway, I love everything you do. Been a fan of you guys for years now. A concerned Virginia driver, Stephen, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. What do you reckon? (sighs) I've just lost track, Mason. Me too. I don't, I don't know, know who's I don't know who either. anymore. I've stopped. I stopped. I'm, I've never paid attention, honestly. But I'm liking this. I'm liking that. I'm liking this battle that's that's recurring that in a letter started. segment. Yeah. I mean, it's, it sounds like it was already there. That's true. Yeah. But I like I like the idea that we're bringing this to a wider audience. Yeah. Because it seems like this has been some sort of cold war, yeah. a secret war, if you will. Do you maybe some maybe some kind of real life Mario Kart situation would solve this? One of us can in be the, Virginia. One of us can be Mary. No, 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 they do it. Oh, they could. They just do go it. into a they, big. They arena select and, a champion. Yeah. Or two. No, no, all of them. They would do it. Okay, terrific. I love that. <laughs> a big, a big roller rink. Mm. And they barrel around throwing things at yeah, each other's cars. Right. God, I don't even know anymore. It sounds like you know what they, they sound a bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna please nobody. They seem mm. like they've both got problems. James, there's one more email. It says, I mean, I have we have non Maryland versus Virginia emails, but I'll, I'll do this one first. <laughs> this is from Caleb settling the Maryland versus Virginia but debate once and for all. Oh, we'll see about yeah, that. Yeah, we'll see about that. Uh, hello, I'm from Maryland, but I actually lived in Virginia for the last two years, so I think I can settle this definitively. Drivers from both states suck. That's what I said. To be fair, I think most people are bad drivers, he says. Uh, however, I will say that Maryland has a much better state flag. People will tell you it's ugly, and they would be correct, but that's what we love about it. Virginia's flag sucks and is boring. <laughs> the Maryland flag <laughs> sucks, but in a cool, fun, quirky way. Hang on, I'm bringing this up. Maryland that's from Gabe. flag. Yep, and Virginia flag, which sucks and is boring, apparently. <laughs> what I like about this, James, is we're opening up more we're opening up more wounds and we're pouring I salt mean, on them. Who it. even like I don't know any of the flags in like Victoria. Like I, right, I couldn't yeah, even yeah, tell yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. God, this is weird. Which one is this? 
Maryland. Okay, Maryland. <laughs> well, Maryland, we don't know what we're saying. So this is, this is Virginia. Okay, it's got a wizard. Is that a wizard? <laughs> it's a wizard stepping on a person. It's an enrobed wizard stepping on another person. Holding a breadstick? Holding a breadstick. Oh, there's Mary a, and there's love a boob bread. out. Yeah, right. That's cool. Okay, is it a wizard or a wizard? Is this hermit? the good one or the bad one? Which one is that? That's Flag of Virginia. Okay, the Flag of Virginia is. It sucks and it's boring, according to it's Caleb. Got a boob out. And it's a wizard <laughs> or something or a hermit? <laughs> or is it this one? Oh, oh, maybe one's a maybe one's a a, sat, a parody or something. I don't know. No, I think this is the real one. That's a wizard, all right. That's weird. Mm. It's like a little train conductor hat. It's got a spear. That's rad. Yeah. Anyway, that's one of them. That's Virginia, which this sucks. Is, as... This is Maryland. Oh, Maryland's is like a <laughs> test <wild>. pattern. <laughs> it's like a test pattern on a TV or something. Those could not be. More different. Oh, no. One's like a medieval. You can't, you can't even compare these. One's, They're like... a, one's a medieval woodcut, and one's like <laughs> what you'd see when your visor reboots in Cyberpunk. <laughs> Make any sense? How are you supposed to compare these? I don't know. They're completely different. That's madness. <laughs> well, I'm glad we learned. That's something we've learned. I think that's yeah. wonderful. I mean, I like the idea that everyone sucks. Yeah, sure. like that. I like. Mm. Flag situation is wild. Yeah. <laughs> It's so weird. All our flags are boring. It's like Union Jack, a different color flag. And a flag. wattle. There's a wattle on a them sometimes. I don't give a fuck. Wow. That's what I mean. You, you're not, are you disrespecting our wattle? Yeah, wow. I am. Wow. Wattle they think wow. of next month. Okay, well, you should, you should find a, a tweet, and then I'll find try and find an email that isn't about I have one. this can of worms that we are actively encouraging. From Aiden. Oh, yeah. It says, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. I think part of the reason the MCU multiverse doesn't seem to be resonating with people is it's too self-contained. No Way Home shows using existing universes work. Professor X died, but Professor X died so quick. Who knows if he was from uh, the Foxverse? I'm assuming he wasn't. That's not the Foxverse Professor X. Oh, is he not the animated Professor X? He might. That's what I mean. He's not the live action no, Professor X. I think oh, the, the same one. I, I think the think. floaty chair would suggest he is not. Yeah, but oh. I also don't think he's the animated one. Right, because he's real. He's a real man. Oh, he's a real man. But I don't know. Yeah. Um. Spider-Verse 2 seems to reference the MCU directly while being self-contained, which sells the scale of the multiverse and makes it feel real without being over-reliant on nostalgia. The scale isn't right in the MCU. It just feels like time travel again. That is interesting. What do you think about that? Mm. Like it's too I, – I don't disagree with like it's like big and broad and what is it? Mm. Like where – who's – Yeah, I think the – Like anyone can die and then they're there yeah, again. Yeah, I think, of, you know, for a long time in the – People would know in the in the DC universe there was an infinite number of universe. Well, initially there was one, then there was two, then they're like, eh, let's go to four, let's yeah. do ten, let's do whatever, and then eventually they're like, there's an infinite number, and that's too unwieldy. And then then they got rid of them, and then uh, then they, they've gone with varying numbers of universes. And I think at one point there was fifty two alternate universes, yeah. which yep. seems like a manageable number. Yeah, but they you didn't know what get I mean? there. Then they end up not doing. Oh no, fifty two was new fifty two. Yes, yeah, but they were, but they, but they, they were, there were fifty two alternate universes. Yeah, uh, which I think, yeah, I think it's a manageable number. It's like Rick and Morty, where like if there's an infinite number of parallel universes, nothing means anything anymore because yeah. if your friend die, like if, if the love of your life dies, you just go to a universe where they're still alive, but you died. Yeah, and then you just take the spot. Yeah, and it's. Weird, but it's also like there's no, there's no consequences yeah. anymore or whatever. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, but I think they, I think we, again, we don't really know what it's going to be, mm. I think, but that's not like a strength. That's not me mm. going like, oh, the, you know, we'll, we'll just have to see. It's interesting because I was speaking to some family members today, like my brother, the one you don't like. Oh, yeah. You would nephews, be talking to him. They were teenagers. Mm. They're like, hi, we're cool teenagers. No, they're small children as far no, as I No, they're like, hi, we're cool teenagers. And then they hit me with a skateboard. Whoa. Yeah. What, together? Together. Like a clothesline situation. A clothesline, yeah. Oh, okay. and I was like, ah, good prank, I said. Nice. And then we all, they high-fived. Yeah, right. I lay down. <laughs> uh, but, but you were going to lay down anyway. To I was going to lay down, yeah. But um, they, they were like, yeah, I haven't seen Guardians 3, and I don't know what else I'm going to see next. And I think that's a lot of people, and I'm not talking about people who like are invested in this, mm-hmm. just normal people who are just like, I don't care, who cares? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think because I, I looked at the stats on – Avatar 2, I think I screenshotted this, and 50% of the- uh, police, <laughs> this guy's screenshotting. That's illegal now. <laughs> did I get it? I didn't get it. Oh, no, I did. So Avatar 2, 
Fifty percent of the audience of that movie is infrequent moviegoers. Yeah, right. And that's what I think people are going for. And I think a lot of the Marvel stuff was that, mm. like, oh, the, especially the big event stuff. Yeah. But I don't know whether that's happening or going to happen mm. in the same way it has before. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder, will Superman Legacy mm. will that draw in casual viewers? Yeah. Because on the one hand, some people are like, "Oh, Superman, he's not interesting because he can do whatever." Mm. Which is which isn't true. Yeah, but it's also a name that everybody recognizes, mm. and if they get enough hype behind it, and if they get enough good word of mouth behind it, yeah, and they you know do a big marketing push, maybe that's if the they one. leak the post credits. Maybe if they leak. Oh, Superman's in this. He <laughs> shut up in a post credit sequence. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot my coat. <laughs> yes, I am. Um, to be clear, I am the same guy from earlier. <laughs> I'm the same. This isn't a multiverse thing. I've just. It will never be a multiverse thing. I just. My coat's. My coat's. My coat's here. I think there's definitely like. There's always heat behind Superman. Because if mm. you look at. I know Man of Steel didn't do super well, but that was also kind of divisive. People That's were true. like, this is kind of sad. Yeah. And then if you look at Batman v Superman, huge opening weekend, mm. then massive drop off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know people are like, oh, this. Uh, I loved it and whatever. Mm. Yeah, I know. I don't want to. Get into it, but like yeah. <laughs> my point is, like those weren't universally appealing That's Superman true. movies. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I think this one could be. There's a chance to do that. Yeah, you know what I mean. And, and even if it is just, and that doesn't mean broad. Yeah, and when, speaking of Avatar, a lot of people are like, oh, that's pretty basic that movie. But it's there's an art to yeah, just a perfectly pitched. The same with Maverick, a perfectly pitched dad's dad's movie, but a perfectly pitched. You know, getting the basics right. Yeah. You know, it's like a, it's like a bloody. Uh, my first thought was like a really good chicken parmigiana. Oh yeah, it's like you go if you can get the you basics know what you, right. You know what you're getting. You know what you're getting, and it's like okay, and you've done it really well. It's a good version of that. It's a good version of that. The Superman Legacy will be the world's best chicken parmigiana, and you can take that to the bank and put it on the poster. As far as I'm concerned, the poster of the bank. No, the poster of Superman Legacy that I'm putting in the bank. Are you sneaking in? What no, because you you're going to be there yelling at them <laughs> yeah. from earlier, and I'll just sne- I'll just walk in while you're doing that. They'll put up. You my shouldn't phone. get paid because I don't like banks. Exactly, that's right. You're right. I forgot that was yeah, the thing I right. did earlier. Uh, here's one more email. This is from Noah. Why are you putting up a poster though? I can't remember. <laughs> okay, it's been it's been literally seconds. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> Uh, Noah says, hello, James and Meso. This is Noah all the way from the great state of Florida, a place that is never in the news and is very reserved from any kind of controversy. Oh, Noah, I actually think it is in the news quite a lot and there's often controversies. Can you write this back, please? Okay, I'll just do this right. (laughs) Hang on, I'll just auto-respond. Thanks, I'll check it out. Uh, Are there any other states that are like Florida man? Like if you say, just say Florida man, people know what you're talking about. Just a man who's lost New York minute? A hot New York minute? A hot New York minute. That is very true, actually, yeah. Mm. A you, Washington wizard? A Washington wizard. Yeah. Like on that Virginia thing. That was exactly. a Washington that was wizard. A wizard. That was a Watton as a Washington wizard. A Washington wizard. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, with it, of course, being the home of Disney World, I figured this would be a fitting topic. In the last couple of days, the YouTube channel Defunct Land yeah. uploaded a video going through a brief history of Australia's own dream world and the big red car ride that came with it. I was wondering if either of you had any first-hand experiences with Dream World and or the big red car ride, and if you sometimes wish it was you touring the world and singing songs about fruit salad instead of the Wiggles. I have not been on the big red car ride because it opened in 2015 and closed in 2020. So my experience with Dreamworld was in like the 90s. Oh, yeah. So I haven't been back. I also wasn't there the year that the ride flipped over and decapitated a bunch of people, Mm. including children, which happened a few years back. Mm. Um, But no, I'm familiar with Dreamworld. It's like, you know, it's just a bunch of rides. There was a Superman ride, which is basically a ride where it goes fast and then straight up and then Mm. down or whatever. Are you familiar with Dreamworld? I've never been to Dreamworld. There's a log ride. I've never been to any of the parks on the Three Parks Superpass. Well, that's not on the Three Parks Superpass because the Three Parks Superpass. Well, then I've never been to Dreamworld and the Three Parks on the Three Parks Superpass. There's four parks that I've never been to. Warner Brothers movie. Thanks for bringing it up. Hollywood on the Gold Coast. I'm listening. That's one place. Yep. Then there's SeaWorld and then there's Wet and Wild. Wet and Wild. And that's all the one industrial Mm. complex. That's the three parks. And pass. then there's Dream World, which I've is I've been separate. to Time Zone. Time Zone's different again. Yeah, that is a arcade center. Yeah. Um, it's a, a franchise it's a arcade franchise. center, which is, you know, very relevant. sort of back or is it? I don't yeah, I'm gonna know. Put in, I'm putting that on the top. Putting okay. it at the top of our list. But no, I'm not familiar with the big red car ride. No. Is that a Wiggles thing? Yeah, it's a Wiggles thing. Mm. I just looked it up now. Yeah. Love that. But no. So Dream World. You're going to mm. check it out? I actually had a chance to go there a few years ago. I was in Queensland for like the weekend. Yeah, yeah. And as a kid, I'm like, oh man, I loved it. It was my favorite. When I met Batman. Remember recently there was a photo of me <laughs> yeah, and my brothers Batman. with Batman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was then. That's, That's when, when you I went. Batman. Right, we right. did the four parks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And the odds he was going to be there as I well. I couldn't believe it's it. Not even his scene. He's more fighting crime in Gotham that's City. That's what I. It's the other side of the world. It's wild because I don't think he's been back since. That was the one time he was there, and I yeah. happened to be there on the same day. Yeah. But um, yeah. So I had an opportunity to go a few years ago, and they're like, "Let's go to the parks," mm. and I'm like, "I don't know. Yeah. I don't want to." Mm. Yeah, I'm not really a ride guy. I like. I'm a snack guy. I don't like spinny rides. Mm. I'll do anything else. Yeah, anything yeah. that spins. Yeah. yeah. Not, no, yeah. not at all. Never. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a water slide guy. Oh, yeah, it's not slides. bad. Yeah. 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 I'm a snack guy. I'll do anything. The, the, problem, the problem, yeah, of course, we know. The, the problem with being a snack guy is you're like, I'm going to have so many snacks today. I'm going to snack, snack. I'm going to every stand have a snack. And then you're like two snacks in. You're like, oh, I'm so full. I feel that's the on, worst day of my life. I filled up on snacks. Yeah. There's no more room for snacks. I'm dying. You know? I'm dying. Mum, yeah, come yeah. pick me up. <laughs> Bring snacks. <laughs> I can do it with a snack. <laughs> Not like celery sticks, like like popcorn and like. Fairy floss or whatever. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, that's great. Anything else? I'll go anywhere where they have the machine that makes the fairy floss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. nowadays they put it in the bag. They do, don't I they? I like that. You don't like it on the I stick? Want a, I, want a, I want a fresh one. Oh, really? Yeah, of course. No, I, I, it can be fresh in the bag, can't it? No, very rarely. Mm, that's a good point, actually. Mm. Well, I love everything. That's what we call cotton candy, folks. It's called yeah, fairy, fairy floss. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because do fairies use it to Probably. Floss? Yeah. But it would break. We'll ask the wizard. We'll ask the wizard on the side. The wizard who's yeah, yeah. stepping on that other person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like a dominatrix anyway, thing. What is this? I don't know. Yeah. It seems the 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 very opposite of tr- don't tread on me. I think I like the person stepping on another person in a wizard costume coat better, uh, like a flag better. I like the the other one. The yeah, ooh, well, we've yeah. solved nothing today, have we? Yeah, well, that's what, James, that's what we want to do. We don't want to solve anything. Oh, yeah. That's, we want to stoke the fire. Like those bloody fire. politicians, that's am right. I right? That's exactly. We want to stoke those fires. Woo. Get more Virginian and Maryland listeners. And then we pivot to being exclusively whoever the winners are would be a podcast about them. And then money? I don't think so. And then money? Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Got any more emails? Or no. That... Great. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Do you want Have to wrap you up? got any more emails? No, I don't, Mason. Wow. Do you want to wrap up the show? Absolutely, then? I do. Good, let's do it. Folks, thank you so much for listening. We absolutely appreciate it. We love having you here when we do big lists of ranking stuff that's very important. What are the odds that our lists would be the same as well? I agree. Yeah. You're going to put. No, I changed though. Okay. Is it the same as yours? Okay. That's, that's I mean, I thought that independently. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, folks, thank you for uh, telling your friends about the podcast. Thank you for subscribing on your podcast oh, well, catcher well. of choice. And while you're there, why wouldn't you leave uh, a five-star review on that said podcatcher? We'll, uh, we'll read it out and you'll be the most famous person in your state of Virginia or Maryland. That's right. This is from FSC Cy If Dad, who oh, says, yeah, nice. five stars, by the way. Beautiful. Just in app. You can do it in any app. Says, I love that. Nick and Meso rock. Be- best podcast ever. This brings me joy during a full Monday. Best part of my week. Mm. This is from Captain America 6283761 who says two thumbs down. Oh, that's how I'm going to Captain America's there, huh? Whoa. It says two thumbs down. Oh, no. But it's still five stars. So that's good. I was told this podcast. I was told this was a podcast about history by a friend and then to find out they lied to me. And now I can't stop listening. The worst part is they're not even Australian. They've been faking it this whole time. Don't tell anyone, though. No. That's right. We're from, someone else. We're from America. America men. America. America men. That's right. Exactly right. Uh, folks, if you want to get into contact with uh, any of us, yep. you can go to weeklyplanetpod at gmail.com, at Facebook or Twitter at Bandcamp. <laughs> ah! Or if you want to contact the dog. I'll let the dog out while you okay. do this. All right. Folks, uh, let me think. It's difficult to do when you're not. I'm not directly facing you. I forget everything. But I'm gonna give it. A, I'm giving it a try, folks. Uh, you can go uh, if you want to. Uh, uh, you can go to the Planet Podcasting Great Mates Facebook group. You can go to the Weekly Planet Pod uh, subreddit and Discord. Uh, if you want to follow some people on the social medias, you should first follow our friend Mason, Rob Collins. I'm back. Thank it's, you. It's probably easier now that I'm here. What does Rob Collins do? What does he do? Yeah. What doesn't he do? That's a great point. <laughs> Well, he edits That's right. his videos, he does social media, he, right. he helps with like various YouTube shorts and TikTok and everything. Should people follow him on the, inst- on the, on the yes, social Mason. media? Follow him on Twitter at, at Rob Collings and at The Weekly Planet. Uh, you can follow me at Wikipedia Brown on Twitter and Nick Maso on Instagram. James is Mr. Sunday Movies everywhere. Uh, if you want to support the show, you can go to patreon.com. 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 Mr. Sunday Movies, checking a buck or a man that you wouldn't miss. Like, it's come out of my pocket, but I don't mind. I like it. It's gone to those uh, wonderful boys. That's right. Uh, or you can go to bigsandwich.co, nine US dollars per month. Yeah. You get bonus podcast movie commentaries, early videos, ad free podcast feed. Whoa, uh, that's real. And uh, video game Let's Plays. Absolutely. Got one coming up. You were editing it early, and you're I like, was. I'm having fun, you said. Yeah. And you haven't said that in years, honestly. I've never said it. 
<laughs> yeah, and then right. say it then. You misheard. Oh, well. Uh, big thank you to also... You said to- I'm having fudge. <laughs> it's time for snacks. <laughs> time for snacks. Uh, big thanks to Maisie at Sarabi and Fidel also in the Great Mates group, but also across various other platforms which they are sorting out, including the Weekly Planet Clips and TikTok. That's right. Uh, editing for Claire, including like Taunts and Suggestible and all these other, mm. other things going on. That's yes, right. yes, yes. Next week... Fastex. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I don't know. It sounded weird, it but that's what weird. it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna talk about that. Uh, oh, also, uh, t-shirts at tpublic dot com. Tpublic. Tpublic dot com. Mm. Jump in the tpublic. Tell your mum. Uh, tell your mum, and also uh, thank you to the Brute and the Basilisk and Rackham for all those musical themes. But yeah, Fast X next week. What a time! I'm excited. Are you excited? No. Mm. I'm kind of not even for big spoilers. No, I mean. We've just been watching a bunch of them, and oh, yeah. we, we just watched four for Caravan of Garbage, uh-huh. and then I played the entirety of Fast and Furious oh, yeah. Crossroads. That would kill and your now enthusiasm. I'm editing Fast and Furious Crossroads. See, I'm jazzed because I didn't have yeah. to play Fast and Furious Crossroads. So no, I'm not jazzed That's to see shame. this movie that I know I'm going to have to revisit in five years. For you Caravan know, you can cleanse your palate if you sniff some coffee beans. I think. Yeah, that'll <laughs> cleanse your palate of Fast and Furious Crossroads. You might be right. It says it on the box. Did you yeah. read that? <laughs> yeah. It's like after you play this, mm. you're gonna have a bad. You're not gonna. Yeah. Just give it a bit of a sniff. Yeah, and then it'll be all right. Yeah, it'll be fine. Cool, cool, cool. All right, thanks, everyone. Grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye.